All right, so we are up. Um, when we ended about an hour-ish ago, uh, I had finally got the last of the memories, which was a big deal, really big deal. And we watched them all in order, and it was amazing, and I got emotional, and I had all the feels. And I kind of had briefly talked about what my next step was going to be. You know, am I going to essentially, uh, you know, do all the shrines and then do Ganon and show the shrines? Do I not show the shrines? Do I show some of the shrines and not all the shrines? What do I do? I am ready to go and face Ganon, sort of. Um, tonight, before this stream ends, hopefully, as long as he's not, like, super hard and I get my ass kicked and I have to, like, I don't know, go and attempt him another time, which would actually be pretty great if that were the case. But as long as I don't have that happen, what I want to do is my thoughts on the final fight with Ganon is that I have the ancient armor, right? Clearly, like, I have it. It's there for me to use. It's fully upgraded. It's extremely overpowered. And it would probably make the Ganon fight at least a lot easier. I don't know if it'll make it a joke because I don't know what the fight entails. But... What I do know is that I have the Champion's Tunic, and I have the Hylian Trousers, and I have the Hylian Hood. Which is kind of just Link's, you know, general look. Like, that's that's his look, right? You know, he, he's got all that stuff. Um, that's like his main look in this game, I suppose. Uh, maybe not the Hood, um, but unfortunately, like, other than, like, maybe the Snow Quill stuff, which still has, like, a different hairdo, like, you can't really just have you know, Link without armor. I mean, there is this uh, diamond circlet, but there's no way. Anyway, the, the point that I'm going to get at here is um, the Hylian hood, the Hylian trousers, and the, well, the Hylian hood and the Hylian trousers are both at rank three. The champion's tunic is at rank two. The champion's tunic at rank two has more defense than the other two pieces do, which is pretty crazy. It is single-handedly the best defensive piece of gear in the entire game period, um, when maxed out to rank four. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I, I think it would be a little cheesy if I tried to fight Ganon in my full ancient armor set, even though I have it, even though I spent all that time, um, farming for it and everything, I kind of gave it some thought, and I think it would be, just be a little bit cheesy if I did it that way. So, what I want to do is, I want to run around, and I want to collect the things that I need to upgrade this armor the rest of the way, I want to buy up a bunch of arrows. I want to make sure that I have um, some weapons. I might buy some ancient weapons just in case, um, but I seem to be good, like, okay on weapons. Um, and then we're going to go fight Ganon. We're going to go fight him. We're going to go do his dungeon, because clearly Hyrule Castle is like a dungeon unto itself. Um, so, uh, the, the only prob problem with mm. these preparations is that, like, for example, to get the Hylian... Um, trousers and the Hylian hood to max, I need 30 total Bokoblin guts and 30 total amber. The amber shouldn't be too hard, um, I say unconfidently. The Bokoblin guts might be difficult. I, I may have to look up like a good farming place for them, or they may just literally be go kill any Bokoblins. I notice a lot of the enemies, like the regular Bokoblins, are now upgrading themselves as I get stronger. So, it's entirely possible that at some point, um, any Bokoblins will just drop guts a lot more often. I'm not entirely sure. I don't, I don't typically spend a whole lot of time killing Bokoblins, so that's part of maybe why I don't have very many. But I will upgrade the Hylian Hood and the Hy Hylian Trousers to rank 4. I will upgrade the Champion's Tunic. Now, here's what we need. We need two shards of Nadra's Horn, okay? Nadra's Horn. The next one is two shards of... Farosh's horn, I believe. It's either Farosh or or Dinral. It might, and actually, I think it's Dinral. Whatever I have two of in my inventory right now, yeah, shard of Dinral. So once we get our two shards of Nadra's horn, um, I will upgrade the champion's tunic to rank three, and then immediately I'll be able to upgrade it to rank four because I already did the the shards of Dinral last night. Um, knowing that I would eventually want to upgrade the tunic. I just didn't realize I would want the tunic for for Ganon. Um, and then past that, I might go make some ancient weapons at the tech lab. 
and I'll make sure that I stock up on all different types of arrows, and then food, and then we're gonna go to Hyrule Castle, we're gonna face Ganon. So let's just jump right into it. The first, the first um, order of business that I do want to take care of, though, is I want to go figure out where the hell... I think Mount Laneru... Yes, the spring is there, all the way at the top of Mount Laneru. I have never been here before. The closest I ever got was this shrine um, in my own spare free time, and that was because I was... I think it was like a piece of the climbing set was here or something in this shrine. So, yeah. But yeah, these are my thoughts. My thoughts are, don't cheese it too much, but still allow yourself to upgrade all your gear so that you feel prepared. Um, you know, the, the extra defense on the, the champion's tunic will offset what I lose from not having the ancient set anyway. The only thing the ancient set will like, well, it won't completely offset it, but the, an the ancient set will make my weapons extremely overpowered. Um, and that will just make the fight a joke. And I don't, I think. I think it will make the fight a joke. I'm not sure, because I don't know what the fight entails, but I do know that I don't want to cheese things too much, so that is why I'm doing it this way. Now, speaking of cheesing things, however... Let's make our way up the mountain, shall we? Um, just, I need to make sure I'm... Yeah, I am going in the right direction. So, we'll just keep doing this until I... I feasibly feel like I am not... Okay, I don't know what I'm saying here. I was going to say I was going to try to climb up until I felt like I couldn't really climb up without having to actually climb anymore. But then I just decided, screw it, and I used my other charge and my other thing, so it'll recharge faster. But, yeah, all the way at the top, I can kind of actually already see... Ooh, did I just see... Are there guardians up there? Oh, no. Oh, please tell me there's not guardians up there. I mean, not like it would be a big deal. I have the... An I will use ancient armor to kill guardians, though, and I still haven't decided if I'm gonna wear the ancient armor or not inside the castle doing the dungeon and then switch to the good... switch to the not-quite-as-good gear for Ganon himself. I don't know yet. I, I have not... What is that? Oh my god, what is that? No, seriously, what is... Oh, is that... That's, uh, Nadra, isn't it? That's who I'm- well, that's who I'm here for in the first place, actually. I- I read about this because I didn't want to, like, go- I have basically three or four hours. I'm giving myself about three or four hours to really kind of, like, do this. Oh, and along the way, if we see me or we're stopping to get it because I need lots of amber, and I'm regretting- I am regretting selling all that amber just this whole time. I should have kept 30 of them, and I- I have nine for some reason. I think I just up, must have upgraded my amber earrings or something. Which is, is annoying. Ugh. Why did I do that? Why do I why do I do this to myself? Um, come on, Link, get some stamina back. You're fine. We have plenty of stamina to get up this mountain. Plenty. Plenty of the the old stamina. That looks like almost like a boulder I should be able to pick up. Wow, listen to this music. This is weird. And oh my oh my goodness. Just oh my goodness. Um okay. Hold on. I was told... Ah, yeah, right here. Is this gonna be... This can't be another memory, right? Oh my goodness. You have done well to find your way to the spring. You who have overcome numerous trials and obtained the spirit orbs. The one you see before you is an attendant to the Spring of Wisdom. This is Nadra, the blue spirit of Laneru. The servant of the goddess has locked has looked over the spirits of this land for agent, ages unknown to the world of man. However, the dreadest, dreaded malice unleashed by Calamity Ganon has possessed its body and reduced it to this state. You who have received the spirit orbs, free Nadra from this malice. Show what your power can achieve. Oh. Hello, Eye of Sauron. Okay. So, I hope I have arrows on me. Um, I should. Yeah, I do. 
Do I shoot the big eye? Oh yeah, just the big eye. You don't even have to worry about the other ones. Ooh. Okay, dragon. Oh, dra oh no, is it? Mo Why is it? Why? Why? What is happening? Where is it going? No, I need you to not... <coughs> oh my gosh. I need you to come back down, please. Come back down, please. I'm supposed to be helping you, and you're making this very... Oh. Well, that's... Wait, what? He's, like, creating an updraft, but it's, like, not carrying me all the way up. Are you seriously gonna make me go all the way up there? Seriously? Seriously. Seriously? Like, why? Why? Why couldn't you have just stayed down? I would have helped you. I would have gotten the Ganon goop off of you. But no, you gotta fly around. You gotta make this all difficult for me. Just nothing can be easy, can it? Nothing. Oh, there's like an updraft. Can I please just have the updraft, please? Okay. The why does the updraft not take me anywhere? Pull me up higher. For goodness sake. Like, go higher than that. I can't shoot him from all the way down here. There's just no way. I'm gonna have to climb up these damn ice pillars. Okay. Can I get him from here? Like, what the heck? I don't know how I'm supposed to do- okay. Really? Oh, ooh, okay, I didn't- I actually did not mean to- ooh, okay, he's coming closer. Oh, oh, he's like right here. Oh, dang it. You are making this so unnes- ooh, got it. I got that one. Now I just have to- oh! Oh, what?! What the heck did you just do to me? Are you kidding me? That was rude. I am trying to help you, sir. Or madam. Oh, oh, Link, 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 Link. Oh, did I just fall because the ice? I don't know what happened to me. Uh, wait, where's his head? No, 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 no. Nadra, come back! Nadra. Oh, he's got one on his back, too. Oh, you're kidding me. Game. I have to follow him around now? Are you kidding me? No, it's not kidding me, is it? Okay, I'm getting the... Mm, no. Are you seriously tr... Like, it's almost like he knew that I was going to head him off there. Okay, I think... Oh. I need to try to get this damn eyeball on his back. Can I get it from here? A little bit higher than that, maybe. I did get the eyeball. Oh no! Link, we're running out of... Yeah, there we go. Oh, this should be my... No, the eye, ne the eye needs to be open, though. Can you open your eye, please? Open your eye! Open your eyes, Nidra. Open your eye. Oh my god, he's trying to eat me. What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Nadra. Nadra, whoa. Whoa, horsey. Hey, come back here. You're really pretty, though. I will, I will give you that. Um, I am running out of stamina. Oh, and he's not giving me an updraft anymore. This is bad. Actually, no, this is not. This is fine. I have stamina food. Do I have to hit the little eyes to open up the big one? Oh, I probably do. Hold on. Wait, no! Why? Link! Oh, because I ran out of freaking stamina. Oh, man. Let me up again. Oh, it, it's actually kind of being nice. Uh, the eye's open! The eye is open! Yes, I got it! Okay, Nadra. <coughs> man, that was a pain. Are you just naturally that color? You kind of look creepy and- Oh! Okay. My question was answered. Wow, that was cool. So, do I have to climb all the way back up the mountain? Or are you gonna teleport me? Teleporting me would be nice. Thanks to your efforts, Nadra, the spirit of Mount Laneru, has been freed from the grips of an evil power. 
but a single ceremony remains. Now loose your arrow through the body of Nadra to free the spirit of the region. Rivali's gale is now ready. So I've been told that no matter where I shoot, um, I'm only going to get a scale this first time, which is unfortunate because I really would like a horn. I don't know. We'll shoot here and we'll see what he gives me. I think I need a scale, though. Um, wait. Are you gonna give that to me, please? Uh... Yeah, it is. It's gonna be a scale, though, I bet you. Yeah, it looks like a scale. That is the Spirit Nadra's scale. It fell when your arrow struck. It serves as proof of the courage you received from the one who served the spring since ancient times. Come, offer a scale from the Blue Spirit Nadra to the Spring of Wisdom. Yep, major scale. So, where do I offer it? Where's the? Where are the butterflies? Where are the butterflies at? I had to do it in the butterflies at the other spring. Are you telling me there's no butterflies here? Really? Really? Okay, I'm not really buying it, but. Sure, let's just like, I guess, put it there. Oh, I had to just drop it in the water? Okay, that works too. Maybe the butterflies, I don't know. Maybe I just needed to drop the scale in the water of the spring at the other one, and it wasn't working because I was putting it on the platform, and then I put it in the water when I tried putting it on the butterflies, so it worked there, and then I thought it was the butterflies that was the answer, but maybe not. Maybe that's what you do. Yeah, and you lose the scale, unfortunately. But here's a here's another shrine. Um, Jitan Sami Shrine. Okay. So in we go. No, in we go, Link. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing so much. It got so cold today. I know I mentioned this earlier today, but like. It was, it's supposedly snowing in other places. It's not snowing here, but oh my gosh, I went outside to let my dog out and kind of, you know, let her run around, and it is cold AF out there. Like, I'll tell you that much. I don't know what that has to do with me coughing, but... Okay, we get a frost spear for that, but honestly... I don't want it. Well, no, I don't want it. I'll, I can always come back for it. No, stop it, Link. I can always come back for it if I want to. One thing I do want to do, I thought about this too. I think it's going to take more time, though, than I am willing, well, than I'm able to really spend on stream tonight. Um, I thought maybe, you know, like, if I could get four more shrines, I could max out my stamina and then go to Ganon, and that would make me maybe feel a little bit better, having maximum stamina, but... I just, I don't think I'm going to be able to find five shrines that quickly. That's like 10% of our remaining shrines that we have left. And I just don't, I don't know how I'm going to do that without looking at a map. I could look at a map. It would take away a little bit of um, exploration on my side of things. But then again, I looked up a map on how to get here. So, you know. Now here's the thing. Uh, I need to get two shards of the horn of Nadra. So, I don't know where Nadra is now. I don't know if Nadra has to, like, come back tomorrow morning. Because, you know, we already hit her once, or hit him once today. Hit it once. Um, so, this I am looking up a guide for. Uh, people are saying that you go to... You can find Nadra easily in the Lanayru Promenade by resting till morning with a campfire. So what is the Lanayru Promenade? Where is that at? Lanayru Bay. Lanayru Bluff. Lanayru Promenade. Oh, yeah, that area. So, like... There, maybe? Oh, yeah, I read... Um, I read this... I think it was, like... Hmm. I think I go to the top here, and I rest until... morning with a campfire.
Okay. All right. Ooh. And these are probably just luminous stone, but they could also have, you know... Yeah, I know I'm wasting the Master Sword mining with this, but it'll come back eventually. Yeah, I just got nothing but luminous stone, but these might have some amber in them. I need amber. I need 30 total amber, but I need 21 more than what I have right now. Now I need 20. So we need to keep an eye out for that, and then we need to do bokoblin horns, as, or bokoblin guts as well. So if we see any bokoblins, we are killing bokoblins. Go away, keys, please. Um, all right, I think what I want to do here, though, is just go all the way up to the top. I know that, is it like, uh, there's like a certain side of this that I want to be on so that I can get a good view of where he'll spawn and then jump down. I want to say that it was off on the other side. Let me look this up because I really don't want, I, I don't want to waste the time trying to figure this out when I know I've read it before anyway, and like, I don't know, let's just, here, uh, Nadra spawn. It was also on Reddit where I found it. Um, this one says, what does it say about Nadra? That one doesn't say anything. Uh, Reddit, spoiler, how to farm any dragon's part. This was it. Uh, for Nadra, you do the quest, and then you go to Lanera Promenade. Then you stand on the cliff in the east part of this area facing the mountain. Fa facing Mount Lanera, so the east part, which would be here, facing the Mount Lanera, which is this. So, like... Like over there? Like, like this, this, okay, this section. <laughs> So, probably, I'm, I don't know, maybe I want to get to the peak of that. Come on, Link. Up we go. Ooh, there's more, more stuff to mine up here. I'll take anything I can get. I need amber. We've already gone over this. I need all the amber and the bokoblin guts I can get. Ooh, amber. Two more. Nice. Okay, so we need 18 more? Is that right? Yeah, we need- no, we need 19 more. 19 more. How did I get that math wrong? Whatever. Up- up link. Uh, and yeah, this is a pretty decent area to do some mining, so... Like, I'm pro- yeah, like, there's even another one up there. So I'll just glide up here, take care of this rock, and then I guess try to get closest to the top, and then sleep until morning. And then I'll be able to, uh... To find him, and oh my gosh, uh, and it, is it? Yeah, wait until morning, pay attention to the sky above the mountain, Nadra will appear from there. Okay. Alright, I think I'm ready, I think I understand. Now, the question is, can I put a, a campfire all the way up here at the top, or will it roll my materials down the mountain? Because sometimes that happens, when I was farming Dinral, that was happening a lot. Farosh is by far the easiest dragon to farm, so I might do some farming of him to get some, uh, some more horns, because his horns sell for, like, two or three hundred mon apiece to that one vendor, that one NPC, and I, I really- Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to drop it on your head. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Let's see here. We need wood. And we need flint. Oh, we don't need that much flint, though. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. I probably won't need all 31 of these anyway. Okay, so that's done. Now we want to wait until morning. Okay, now around probably 6, 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m facing Mount Lanayru, which is the- oh, there he is! He's up there. Wait a minute. So, is he gonna come down here? Is this seriously the best place to- to get him? It can't be the best place to get him. He's pretty beautiful up there, though. Look at him. So if he spawns all the way up there... 
how, when does he come back down? Oh man, this is gonna be, he's gonna be the hardest one to farm, I guarantee it. Which is unfortunate because I saved him for last. Because <laughs> he had a quest attached to him and I didn't know how to do the quest. I was so confused. And I, didn't, uh, I didn't want to look up a guide, but then I ended up having to look up a guide. Okay, are you seriously just going to fly around over there? Are you ever going to come over here? Nehru, I need your horns. Can you just give me your horns? It's part of my quest. Please. Okay, he is coming this way, but he needs to get low enough to where I can, like, actually get to his head. This is always the problem. I mean, technically you can shoot him from underneath, but it's a little harder. Okay, he's he is flying this way. Um, uh, let me just in case I'm gonna. Oop, no, yeah, just in case I'm gonna do a save, a manual save, so that I can load back to that if I need to. Like if I miss the horn, or if I just don't understand how to get to him. Plus, like I need to get back up this mountain too. Okay, he's he's down there. I. I should be able to just go down there and get him. I need to kind of head him off a little bit, though. I'm gonna go in the water. Thanks a lot, Nadra. Alright, so now we just go down and get this. Yeah, Shard of Nadra's Horn. Okay, so that's one of them out of the way. That is one of the horns. I now need another one. But that shouldn't be too difficult. We know how to do this now. This is a very repeatable farmable source of of goodies and actually this is one of the better ways that you can uh, oh crap i got all overzealous with my climbing and i didn't have the actual climbing gear on and now i'm kind of in a pickle am i gonna actually have to use some of my stamina foods that would be annoying please please say no oh man oh man i do i totally do well i'm gonna be stubborn and i'm gonna wait until it's about out Yep. No, I, oh, no, Link! Uh, is it too late? Oh, I have one left. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's not too late. Good. Okay, yeah, get that stamina back, boy. What is your problem? I'm running out of stamina. I almost have... Ooh. Nice. Oh, man, it's just opal. I don't want opal. I want amber. I want amber, please. Oh, is there more to mine down? Oh, no, that... Oh, wait. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is what I'm talking about with rain in this game. Every time you want to climb up somewhere, it always freaking rains. Oh, I'm so... I'm angry. I'm actually angry right now. I, I, I'm kind of like on a... Not really a time limit, but... I, I don't want... Like, I want to get Ganon tonight. I made a big deal about the fact that I decided to get Ganon tonight, and the whole reason is because I'm all supercharged and fired up about killing him, and blah, 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 blah. Um, is this, yeah, this is as high as, now, unless I have, unless I were able to get the, uh, the charges of my other ability back. Shoot. Really? Alright. Oh, and I can't even set up, <gasps> game, why are you a jerk? Okay, are those bokoblins down there? Or is that just a moblin? It's just a moblin. Son of a... Ugh. Let's see if there's any moblins. I remember there being moblins over here. Yeah, there are. Let's just go kill these guys. Maybe it'll stop raining in, in like an hour or so in game time. You. Ow! Okay, I'm putting on my good armor for this white guy because he is powerful. You, stop it. You're so rude. You are so, 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 so. Oh my gosh, get wrecked. I'll just keep you in this corner. I'll just keep you in this corner and destroy your life. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Yay, Rivali's Gale. Ooh. Ooh, he dropped Bacoblin Guts and Amber. Oh, he was our savior. He knew exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, we need a lot of Bacoblin Guts, I think. Like, I think we need just as many Bacoblin Guts as we do Amber, and that's kind of part of the problem. Um, 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 Bacoblin Guts? Anyone? Uh, nope, there's, there's none that fell in the river. 
Oh, there's five arrows down there, though. I kind of want those. Why am I such a sucker for arrows? It's because I go through them so frequently that anytime I see them, they feel like a rare commodity, even though they're really not. Um, am I going to die here? I guess I can always teleport away. I'm never... That's the thing in this game. You're never really in danger of dying. You, you can always teleport out. If you choose not to, then that's like your own fault, I guess. Are there any more goblins down this road? I mean, I may as well hunt for them. At least until it stops raining. Yeah, there's more over here. But the are the are they white ones? The white ones seem to always drop a coblin horns, whereas the blue and red ones it seems to be pretty rare. Yeah, see, like that guy didn't drop any. Uh, ooh, there's a white one over there. Hey, Michelle. So I have decided. I've already said this. Uh, once already in the stream is to like you know future viewers um but um i'll catch you up to speed basically i am running around oh yes the goblin guts i'm running around collecting some materials to upgrade links like uh i don't really know like i don't know what to call it like basic armor i guess um the the hylian hood the champion's tunic and the hylian trousers i need a bunch of the goblin guts i need one more sh uh, shard of fair of Nadra's horn, which I am farming right now, except it started raining, of course, and... Oh, that is a slow... Okay. That is slow. Um, anyway, just all you need to know is that I'm farming for materials to upgrade my gear, because I thought I have a... F oh, no. Oh, are you gonna... You're gonna drop guts, too, aren't you? Yep, he did. Dang it. Oh, can I get that? Oh, no, no. No! It, like, sunk down in the water! I saw it, though! I s Oh, no, game! Oh, well. It's not raining anymore, at least. Ugh. Why? Why, game? Fine. Alright, let's put on our, our frost-resistant gear. Anyway, yeah, the, the general just is I'm upgrading stuff, because I think that using my level 4 um, ancient set would be kind of a... Uh, gimmicky. Like, it, it would be a little cheap if I used it against Ganon. But I don't also want to go in there and get wrecked. So I do need to upgrade Link's, like, regular clothing. I say regular, I just mean, like, the most basic clothes that he can wear, probably, during the Ganon fight. Um, that way, it won't be too, like, comically easy, but I also won't get destroyed in, like, one hit. So, that's, that's the plan. Come on, up here. Up we go. I probably should be able to camp him from this side, right? Or does it, do I have to be? I mean, I guess it was easier to do it from over there. So, uh, sure. Let's do this again. I like using this thing on cooldown because it's so useful. I wish I had this from the beginning of the game. If I played this game over again, which I will eventually, but, like, if... If I could go back in time and tell myself what order to do the Divine Beasts in, I would have totally told myself to do... Well, okay, let's be real. I don't I don't think I would change anything. The way that I played through this game was so exciting, and doing Rudania first was, like, really heart racing, because it was such a dangerous area, like, especially when I first went into the Goron City and had no fire protection. Like, that was probably... That will go down as one of the most memorable moments of video gaming for me ever. Just because I was, it was so like, I mean, it was like life or death, and I, I, I think I bought my last piece of fire resistant armor like right as I had like half a heart left. It was, it was real, it was fun. Anyway, um, but yeah, Mado is obviously the way to go first because this ability that you get is just that good. Like, it's so useful for exploration. Okay, so I need wood and flint. And I need a metal weapon, not this... Oh, wait, what? Oh, right, because I... Okay, I, I understand. Uh, I need, like... Oh, no, I do have a metal weapon equipped. Okay. Uh, we're gonna sit until morning. Oh, 
Oh no, it's a blood moon. That means everything in Hyrule Castle from when I went in there is going to be there again. Um, Michelle, since I know that you watch frequently, um, while I'm doing this stuff, like, I know I know, I shouldn't tell you to stop watching my stream, because I want you to watch my stream, but you, you might want to watch um, at least toward the end of uh, the earlier stream from today, because I found all of the rest of the memories, and then I watched them in order, and they are, well, they're extremely good. Let's just say that I teared up, and had all the feels, and I would highly recommend just kind of um, watching that so that you know essentially what the story is and what's going on, because I imagine whatever happens at Ganon will connect um, to the end of that. But that's up to you. If you don't care so much about that, then, you know, it is what it is. We're... Okay, there's Nadra again. I'm gonna climb... I'm gonna try to climb a little bit higher than this. Come on, Link. I just want to be prepared. Uh, yeah, and even, like, even a little bit higher than that. Come on. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up quickly. We don't have too much time. Not too much time. Where's Nadra? Okay, Nadra's there. Come on, like, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. Okay. Yeah, this, this is fine. Yeah, we, we can get them from here. So, just glide down here. I want to kind of let go. I want to let go again. Glide, and then arrows and then horn. Got it. Okay, so now I need to watch where that's gonna go. Oh, you're going all the way over there? What? Why? What purpose does that serve? Oh well, at least I have enough stamina to get over there. <laughs> Jeez. And this, this should allow me to not only upgrade my my champion's tunic to level 3, but also to level 4, because I already farmed the other two dragon horns from the other dragon. So. Uh, hopefully this is the right item, though. Sometimes it bugs out and it'll give you, like, a scale instead, but... Oh, looks like it's the right thing. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go to the Great Fairy. We'll go to the Great Fairy, we will upgrade the Champion's Tunic, because this thing, I think it's going to have, like, 32 or 34 armor on it for one piece. That's, that's like, that is the single highest defensive piece of gear in the entire game, and it gives you the ability to see all enemies' um, uh, HP, life points, whatever you want to call them. Hearts. <laughs> they don't really, enemies don't really have hearts, they just have a bar with, like, a number... 175 out of 175, you know, stuff like that. All right. I feel very accomplished so far. Hopefully, hopefully these Bokoblin Guts and Amber are not going to take us too much time to farm. Uh, and I might want to find, like, one more shrine just to upgrade my stamina, like, just, I don't even know, one, one more additional time, but we'll see. Uh, and one second. There we go. I'm doing that. Okay. Power of Veil to me. I can answer clothing, clothing, clothing to the max. Yes, we know. Okay, so this takes two shards of Nature's Horn and three Silent mm. Princess. We have more than enough Silent Princess. So she'll give Link a little kissy-poo for the third one. I don't know if I've shown this part on stream, like rank three and four upgrades. She does a different animation each time. So that's 22 defense for a rank 3. That's only 6 underneath a rank 4 ancient piece of gear. Alright, and we can do the other one. Two shards of Dinral's horn and 10 silent princess. I'm glad I, I have all, enough of these because I didn't. I thought it was just another 3. Um, yes, please. <laughs> she pulls him under the water. And he's just, like, exhausted, passed out. What happened down there, Link? Um, so yeah, one piece, 32 armor on it. That's four more than an ancient piece. That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty damn good. 
Uh, what else can you do? Uh, we don't we don't want that. I don't want to waste my cobbling guts on that. Um, so yeah, uh, let's let's just take one more look at this. For the Hylian trousers, we need one more amber and three more cobbling guts for one. So I need sixteen amber, sixteen amber, and eighteen cobbling guts for the hood and the the legs. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, I know one place where we can maybe get Amber, but actually, and I want to activate something real quick. Uh, oh, man. Uh, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not even in the right thing. I want to go to a Sheikah sensor. I want to go to change target. And then I think it's under, it's not under creatures. It's under materials. Equipment? Nah. Is that under the treasure chest? Oh my gosh, it is. Rare ore deposit or luminous stone deposit. I think I think rare ore is like, yeah, you get amber from that, but you get only flint and luminous stone from that. So we definitely wanna We wanna do this one. Okay. Now do I have something to actually mine with? That would be like not Oh yeah, I I do have an iron sledgehammer, so we want that. Um Oh, you're beeping already, huh? Okay. Take me to your leader. Um, up this way, really? Alright, I'll believe ya. Come on, up we go, Link. Oh, and I probably want to put the climbing armor, climbing gear back on. Okay. It is in this direction. Sort of. Somewhere in, the, in this general direction. But where? Ah, down there. Okay. Ooh, there's four of them down here. Hopefully this will give me a lot of amber. Please, give me all your amber. Rock salt, flint, boo. One amber. Amber, amber, amber. Okay, so we got like three amber out of that, maybe? Okay. Now I'm going to go to... Let's go to... Oh, man. What, what are these shrines back here? What? Gut check rock. Oh, I remember that place. Um, sure, let's go to that one. Let's go to that shrine. Because um, I, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of rocks over here. A lot of ore. It's not even the amber that I'm worried about. It's the bacoblin guts. I feel like the bacoblin guts are going to be stupidly hard to farm another, like, 18 of. But hopefully not. I, that means I need to kill at least 8 Bacoblins. Like, at, or eight, at least 18 Bacoblins. And so far, only the white ones drop Bacoblin Guts 100% of the time. And the other ones, it's, like, really rare. Um, or is this way. Okay. So off in this direction, we should find some more ore, right? Off in that direction? Is it down there? Oh, I see it. I see it. I really like these sulfur pools. They're they're pretty cool looking. All right. Please give me amber. Okay, we got two amber and three amber. How many am I up to? I need ten more. Ten more amber, and then wait. What? Where's? Where are you beeping? What direction are you beeping in? That way? Back that way? Up there? Oh, up there. Okay. Sure. Let's go rock climbing. You know I love me some rock climbing. It's like my favorite thing to do in this game. Oh, a lizard! Damn it, lizard. I will get you someday. Um, is it in this direction still? Yeah, it is. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there. Oh, wow. Please don't see me, Lizalfos. I don't really care to fight you right now. I can, I can absolutely decimate you if that is what you so please, but I'd prefer not to. Um, I really don't want to have to resort to this, but I know I can use bombs. I've explained this before in the past. Using bombs is fine. It is technically an unlimited resource. Unfortunately, it also means that um, the ore flies everywhere, and oftentimes the ore will fly off the edge of the mountain and screw you over. 
So I prefer to use weapons. Iron sledgehammers are the best. They are specifically made for mining, but uh, I don't have any more. I, I need to go back to the Goron City if I want to get more. Or I mean, they, they're all over the place, but you find more of them in the Goron City than in the other place. Which makes sense, because it's like the mining town. And I see this ore down here. Is this what, what, what it's... Yeah, this must be what's beeping. Two more amber. More amber. Come on, please. Revali's Gale is now ready. Yay, Revali's Gale is ready. Ooh, I only need five more. Yeah, the amber's not bad. The, am the amber so far is the easy part. The Bacoblin guts, though. Are you guys Bacoblins? No, you're Moblins. I kind of want to go kill you anyway, just because you're, like, hanging out there having a party. And the white ones drop... In this game, I have figured out if an enemy is white, like a right, like a Bacoblin or a Moblin or whatever, it being white... Wait, where is this ore at? Oh, over here. If it's white, it means that it's, like, mega. It's, like, the hardest version of that enemy. Um, and that, that extends to, like, Lynels and stuff as well. Um, they have more health and they have more attack power, but they also drop more, like, better gear. So, like, if, if uh, let's say a Bacoblin Gut is the rarest thing a Bacoblin can drop, a white Bacoblin is very likely to drop it. And that had no Sapphire, but it did have, or it had, that had no Amber, but it had Sapphire and Topaz in it. So, uh, okay, it's, it's leading me over here now. Ah, over there, I see. This is a really good spot for mining. There's a lot of nodes back here. Oh, wow, there's a lot over here. I could also, actually... I mean, it's probably too late now, but I could also have hunted down a Stone Talos, the, like, mini-boss dudes, um, and they drop a lot of amber. That probably would have actually been a much more intelligent thing. Oh, these guys drop amber. No, not not you, chicken emu bird. These guys. Oh no, I can't kill you with that weapon. Okay, what can I kill you with? Can I kill you with this? <gasps> Why won't you let me equip anything? What are you doing to me? Uh, die. Wait, what? 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 Oh my god, I'm on fire. Okay, okay, Link, get up. Link, get up. Put that away. Do I not... Do I have any ice weapons? I have ice arrows. I really don't want to use an ice arrow on you, though. Oh, I have one ice arrow. Jeez. Alright, come on, pick him up and throw him. Just throw him! Oh, he dropped a ruby. Whatever, I'll take it. And then you get to live another day, because I don't have any ice things on me. Ooh! Ooh, I'm getting distracted again, but it's fine. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, there's just, like, everything. Okay, um... Where, where is your missing block at? Where is your missing block? What? Did I already do this puzzle? No, because the Korok would be hanging around if I already did this puzzle. Okay, whatever. Look at all this ore, though. Are you kidding me? This is so, like, rich over here with ore deposits. Um, ooh, that one had a diamond in it. I'll take it. Um, okay, can I get all three of these? Yes, I can. But they're all luminous stone, really? Boo. Um, was there any more up there? No. No, there wasn't. Uh, I know this seems weird, but I'm gonna use the Master Sword, because I can- it, it recharges, so... Uh, it's actually, like, okay to use. Mipha's Grace? Wait, when did I die? I must have died, like, a little while ago and just don't remember. Ooh, I see more ore! There's so much ore down here! How did I not know about this area before? Maybe I did, I just forgot. Oh, hi, Emma. Does Emma like Zelda? I don't know. Emma's like four or five, isn't she? Not that you can't like Zelda if you're only four or five. I just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we should have... Is that the last amber that we need? Uh, 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 how do I... Oh, right, Y to sort. Uh, okay, we have 31. Now, how are we in the way of Bacoblin guts? I still need 18. <sighs> okay, I know one place, I think I remember one place, that has a decent enough amount of Bacoblins. And it was over here. If, I rem if I'm remembering correctly. 
she's four, but she has no clue what Zelda is. Well, I mean, yeah, she's four. She has no clue what a lot of things are, but that's okay. She has time. She wants to know the name of my dog. Uh, my dog's name is Rose, and she is in the other room because if she were in here, she would be barking nonstop. <laughs> Now, okay, is this where I wanted to go? I don't, I don't remember. I just remember fighting a lot of bokoblins over here. Oh, there's guardians down there. No, that's not what I was remembering. Oh, man. There's a, a moblin over there and another moblin over there. Okay, let's do this. Uh... The Molly's Gale. This, yeah, this is definitely not the area I was thinking of. I There was an area with a shrine teleport nearby that had a lot... Ooh! Wait, hold the phone. I'm doing this first. I'm getting distracted again. Oh. Oh, well, you know what? I can cheat. This is no problem at all for me. Come on, Link. Are we above it? I can't tell if we're above it. Yeah, we're where we should be. I'll just glide on down here casually. Okay, now there should be bokoblins over here. No, this is like a Lazolfos camp. Should I go back to like the uh maybe I should just go back to the uh Ooh, I know where there are a lot, actually. Where is the Twin Dueling Peaks Tower or whatever? Is that this? Yeah. There's a bunch of them over here. They're not gonna be there, like, once I kill them, they're, they're done until the Blood Moon comes back, but at least that that's, like, something, right? I should just look it up. I should look up, like, I should Google, like, good Bacoblin farming spot, but... They're also kind of a pretty regularly common enemy. It's just, I need to kill the white ones specifically because they have the highest chance of dropping the guts and I need the guts specifically. Huh, I think I, I don't know, so, there might be a shop that sells, oh, there is. There is totally a shop that sells them. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, Okay, I'll still do this, I'll still do this, but um, yeah, but I definitely remember there being a shop now. <gasps> Wait, Link, why did you just drop to your death? I, I pulled my bow out. Like, I don't understand why he just fell to his death when I had my bow out. He should have stopped in midair, but whatever. Um, can you, like, stop? Okay, just... The Master Sword's damage is obviously not great against regular enemies. I just use it because it's free. It's a, it's a weapon that doesn't permanently break. That's essentially my reasoning. Okay, we got two guts out of that. So, what is that? I mean, that means I need 16 more. Now... Oh, that's where I was thinking of. Excuse me, over there. That little skull area. That is where all of the bokoblins were that wrecked me on like the very very first day that I played this game. So hopefully there's a bunch of them over here and then I can just AoE them down with Urbosa's Fury and laugh in their stupid bokoblin faces for killing me, you know, days and days and days ago. Oh yeah, there they are. Look at them all happy. Well, the party's over, boys. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, they, they stood no chance whatsoever. Ooh. Um, okay, before you start swinging around and blowing, blowing stuff up in here. Hey, come on out here so that I can eventually get your guts, please. Where, what else dropped? Over here, did any bokoblin, did that one over there drop a bokoblin thingy bobber guts? That's what I mean to say. Uh, no. Okay. That's fine, though. Because this one... Sh what is this? Oh. Blue blue rupee? Okay. 
This one should drop guts. Oh, I'm so scared of it though. Hey, can you like come away from the uh, <laughs> the dynamite, please? All right, flurry rush it and smack the crap out of it. There we go. Uh, now I need to actually pull out like another weapon. Uh, I want to try this. Oh no, come back to me, boomerang. You didn't come back to me. You got caught in there. Oh, that happened. Wait, where's my boomerang? Can I have my boomerang back, please? Oh, it's behind him. Come on, Link. Link, throw it. <laughs> it's just kind of satisfying to hit them with that. Nope. Please die. Thank you. Ooh, what did he drop? Eh. He did drop guts, though. That's good. Oh, no, don't throw it again, Link. 16. I need 14 more. 14 more guts. Uh, okay, now where where else will there be the coblins? All over the Great Plateau, I'd imagine. But I want to check something out first, because I remembered something pretty important, if I'm remembering this correctly. I... Oh, it's in Kakariko Village. That's where it is. You can buy Bokoblin Guts, I think, for like 80 rupees a piece in Kakariko. But I'm going to check um, Zora's Domain 2. But I think it was specifically Kakariko. In fact, I know... I know it was specifically Kakariko, which is hilarious because I visit Kakariko all the time. This whole time, if I had known I was going to eat all these Bokoblin Guts, I would have just been buying them this whole time. But I didn't, so it's fine. Um, and because I can never pass up free materials, let's do this real quick. the heck? I saw a crab back here when I spawned in, and it, it, like, disappeared. There's one over here, though. Okay. So, what is this shop going to have in stock? Is it gonna have the Cobblin Guts? Uh, it's got Rock Salt. It's got regular arrows, which I actually do want to stock up on. I'll take them all. And I kind of want- I need ice arrows, too, don't I? I'm low on them. I'll take all of those, and I'll take all of these. Sure. He's got rock salt, don't care about that. Uh, Swift violet, don't care about that, and then I don't care about those two things. Now we can go back to Kakariko. I don't think that this shop is going to have many Bacoblin Guts in stock. I think at most it's going to have like five, but probably more likely it'll have like three. <laughs> and that's not going to be super helpful, but it's... I don't know how long the respawn is. If it respawns relatively quickly, then, you know, I, it could be a way that I could get them. I don't know. I don't know how shops respawn. I haven't actually tried to, to like, cheese that. I just kind of buy stuff when it's available, and then once it's out, I just wait until the next time I happen to visit that place again. So... Let's go ahead and fly down. Um, but yeah, the, the last stream, the one from earlier today, we found all the memories, so we watched all the cutscenes, like, super, super cool stuff. Alright, how many do you have? How many of these do you have? You have three. Yeah, I thought so. That's fine. Three is better than none. Like I said, I need eleven more. Eleven more. So... I think the best place, really, to find Bacoblins has to be on the Great Plateau, or at least one of the, the better places, anyway. Um, but just where, though, do I exactly want to go to eat? Wait, what is... Man, Rose is mad about something. Holy... Um... I know there are a bunch of Bacoblins up here by this shrine in the snow. I just don't know. I think what this game does is I think that as you get stronger, as you get more and more hearts, and as you get more and more stamina, and as you get um, more and more of the Divine Beast done, it upgrades the enemies. And the enemies kind of get stronger with you. Um, and I think that that's mostly just to keep the game kind of like constantly sort of challenging, even though they're still kind of a joke. And oh my gosh, my neighbor must have just come home because Rose and the other the other dog are going ballistic. That's like one of the bad things about having a dog is is they do not stop barking. Um, okay, now I want to go back to clothes because Link is cold. Link, you're such a wuss. Just just suck it up. 
All right, whatever. We're warm again. Yay. Um. Oh yeah, there's a. Wait, what just happened to my controls? Um, controls. Why are you like Link? Is oh, is he getting? He's like sinking in the the snow, isn't he? Is that what's happening? Yeah, probably. Um, here's what I want to do though. If no, if none of these guys notice me anyway, this is what I want to do. Ooh, yeah. Oh, they noticed you. Well, good job, Link. Nope, Rebosa's Fury. Okay, that's fine. That works. I'll just hit him while he's all zappy. Wow. Poor guy. Is he ever gonna get out of that? Oh my gosh. That was, he was, like, in that forever. Um, it's about to break, so I may as well throw it at you. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, I caught it. That was so cool. Oh, but Cobbling Guts and a Ruby. Yes! That was a good one. Okay. Oh, but these other two didn't drop any guts. Oh well. Now, are there more of you down there somewhere? Or over here? I could have sworn there was more than just that little encampment, but maybe not. Is there more... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where there'd be more. I mean, I guess the idea is just run around and look for them. They're, they're a really common enemy. They're everywhere. I mean, they're in every region, everywhere. So, I'll eventually find them if I just make my way around. Yeah, like, here's more over here. Well, I don't have Verbosa's Fury anymore. I can't AoE them down. I'm, I'm actually kind of sad. Oh, I can't even get up there, really. Ooh, look at all this... Look at all these goodies under here, all these peppers. But like, seriously, can I get up to you guys? Okay, I can't get up to you guys. Well, that's annoying. I could probably glide from up here, right? Yeah, I totally could, could glide from up here. Only problem that I see with this plan, though, is that they are not white, the cobblins. So, ooh, there's a chest up here. Five arrows? I'll take it. I'll never pass down uh, free arrows. Okay. Um, ow. Oh, no, Link, don't... I, I actually kind of want to scream right now. I can't believe that just happened. Really? Like, for real? They better drop guts. They better drop guts. That is all. Oh no, no, Link. We need stamina back first before you climb that. Rivali's gale is now ready. Oh, of course. Now Rivali's gale is ready. Thanks, game. Now that I don't need it to get over here. Hey, you guys. Can you stop poking me with your stupid sticks? Oh, seriously? You have got to be kidding me right now. You have got to be kidding me right now. Seriously? You know what I say about that game? You know what I say about that? I'll show you what I say about that. I'll tell you what I say about that. Whatever. I'm not making any sense because I'm mad. Come on, Link. Swim faster. Why do you swim so slow? You have a full set of Zora armor on. Swim faster. Why am I taking damage? Is this water, like, cold or something? What the heck is going on? Like, what was that about? Oh, I'll show you what I have to say about... Oh, well, I... Okay, sure. <sighs> hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> Alright. Dropped arrows. Didn't... Oh, no freaking... Oh, man. Oh, man. Fine. Be that way, game. I can't believe that just happened, dude. That whole... That whole little bit of whatever just happened to me. Falling off the cliff and... Everything else. Man. And why was I taking damage going up that waterfall? That was so strange. Maybe the water was cold? 
Either the water was cold or I was just taking like sustained damage because the water was moving really quickly. Um, is that a bokoblin? Oh, there's bo oh, there's a lot of bokoblins down here. Ooh, yes, please. Uh, I need a weapon. Uh, this weapon. Oh, I don't have Herbosa's Fury. Oh, dang it. Why am I charging that up like I have Herbosa's Fury? Also, none of these are white bokoblins. I need the white ones, like, specifically. Ow, you just shot me with an arrow? Yeah, see, these ones just don't drop- they- their drops are not that good. Uh, regular arrows. Like, none of them drop- seem to drop, um, the- the guts. Yeah. Let's- let's try to look for them in a different location. And I am, like, two seconds away from going out there and yelling at my dog, because she's driving me nuts. She's probably just- someone probably, like, drove across the street, or the- the kids are playing outside or something. I don't know. It's cold out there, but that never stopped them before. But I'll check on it in a minute if she keeps- keeps it up. Where- where do I remember seeing, like, pretty decently strong bokoblins? I mean, I know that I saw some, like, still in the plateau. Like, I feel like I should stick to the plateau. Because that's, like, where I remember seeing most of the problems that I've ever found in this game, like, in, in like, mass amounts. Or they were here at the plateau. Oh, I knew this was going to be, like, the harder material to farm. I don't know. I, I'm still a little worried. I'm like, maybe I won't get to Ganon's castle tonight. I still want to. I'm, I'm still going to try. I have about two hours max to do this. Um, but it's entirely possible that I won't do it in time. In which case, I'll probably know, like, you know, before we get to that, the end of those two hours, and I'll, I'll end up changing plans and switching, but I really, really would prefer, uh, to get it tonight. Because I'm all, like, I'm all, um, charged up after seeing all those cutscenes. Now I'm like, I have to kill- oh, Link! I, I was trying to use Rivali's Gale there, and it just didn't work out for me. Can you can you stop climbing? Can you just, like, no. Urgh. Link, you're so obnoxious sometimes. The controls in this game are, are normally really, really good, but sometimes you just, like, you press one wrong button, or, you're, or Link goes, like, one step too far and falls off of something or other. There is a white beca- ooh, okay, you know what I want to do with this guy? Easy does it. Nice and quiet. Oh, he's gonna see me, isn't he? He totally sees me. Yep, he's waking them all up. Great! Thanks for that. I should have taken him out first. Can you... can you... yeah, there we go, okay. Um, this guy has a bow. I've noticed if they have a bow, they don't have as much health. I don't- I don't know if there's any correlation to that or not, but... The rangers seem to have- ow, less health than the ones that have the melee weapons. Okay, this one dropped one set of guts, as per usual. There's nothing really extraordinary about one set of guts. At least I'm getting some of my arrows back. That's good, at any rate. Uh, now, I remember there being, like, more down here. I think. There's a moblin down there. I don't know about no bokoblins, but I see some moblins. Oh, I hear them. I totally hear them. Where are they? Ah! Oh, and you. Is there another ranger anywhere? Why is the, like, combat music going? Oh my gosh! You just scared the crap out of me. Whoo! Okay. So you wanna play, huh? Mr. Yiga Clan Big Guy, whatever your actual name is. I don't know. Um... All right, come on. Woo! Oh my god, that's that's frightening. Nice. 
Nice. Oh my gosh, you got destroyed. You got destroyed. Oh, cr of course you give me an amber after I don't need any more amber. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna complain now every single time I get amber from this point on. Remember that time I had to go far- Oh, I don't want a soup ladle. Yeah, Clank. Get rid of that. Unfortunately, no white bacoblins were in this area, so probably am not getting... Yeah. Man. Are there any over here? Ooh, wait, was that a bundle of arrows? Yeah. Nice. Um... Oh, there's Farosh all the way over there. Hey, Farosh, what's up? Um... <laughs> Ooh, are there bacoblins up there? Maybe? Come on, Link. No, but there's like a chest. This probably has nothing in it. It's probably like early game stuff. What? Five fire arrows? Alright, color me surprised. Where would more bacoblins be? If I were a bacoblin... Ooh! Oh, they're... Um, well, I mean, I don't really care about the boars, I'll be honest with you, but I, I do kind of want to just... Like, they're, they're picking on it. It's two to one. Let's even the odds, shall we? Give me your guts, please. Horn. Horn. Man. Ooh, is this a stone talos right here? Hello? Are you a mini-boss? Hello? No, you're not a mini-boss. Okay. It kind of looks like it. It looks like that would be a stone talos. Uh, hey. Alright, give me like 60 seconds. I need to go see what Rose is barking at. It's driving me nuts. There's like some, uh, I don't know, some teenagers or something <sighs> outside, like, just walking around at night, because of course, why, why would you not be walking around at night when it's cold out randomly as a teenager? But either way, Rose is gonna keep barking as long as they're out there, and I'm not going to wait until they're gone to continue this, so she'll just be barking, I guess, for a little while longer. Now, I see moblins. I don't care about moblins, though. At least not right now, I don't. So, let's, uh... There's gotta be some more encampments, like, near here, though, right? Um... I see something that looks like it might have some bacoblins <laughs> over there. Gosh, I love this ability. It's so good. It's just so useful. Like, I use it all the time. Like, all the time. Uh, oh, there's a chest over there to be one. Oh, is that a white one? <gasps> I think it's a white one. Yes, it is. Ooh, and they're all... Okay, here's what I want to do then. He noticed- how did they notice me? I don't understand. I wasn't that close. Wait, no. Come here. Ow. Can 
you ow, ow, Link, get up. Why does he roll around like a rag doll? He gets hit like, I swear, one time. He's like, oh, I have to dramatically roll down this hill like a rag doll for like 20 seconds. And he's like, okay, I'm good. And then comes back. It's like, seriously, Link, like, get up. You didn't have to do that in any previous game. Okay, did any of the other ones drop guts? No. Uh, I am curious to see what's in here. A 66 attack Royal Claymore? What the- see, this is- this is what I'm talking about. I think even the treasure chests, like, increase, like, upgrade, depending on how... <sighs> like, what am I trying to say here? I think that- Anything in the world that you get as a drop, as like a weapon, or just like the the enemies that spawn, I think they can all be upgraded depending on how far along you are in the game. Which is a really good system because it means that you don't like even when you're super powerful, the game the game's enemies and like all the areas within it stay relevant. World of Warcraft the kind Rosa's of does something. World of Warcraft kind of does something similar. Although, I will admit, not quite as good as this system. Like, this is just awesome. This this game, they really thought of, like, everything. <coughs> Alright, how many more guts do I even need? I need eight more. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Like, we can get eight more. In fact, at some point, I should even be able to just go check Kakariko again. Plus, Urbosa's Fury is back again, so as soon as we find a Bacoblin encampment, they're gonna be toast. I just unfortunately don't know where Bacoblin camp encampment will be. Um, they're all over, but, you know, they, they do seem to be pretty spread out. Um, I know there's probably a lot more, like, here, let's, let's start, let's teleport somewhere. Um... Trying to think off the top of my head where I remember seeing them. I remember seeing them. Uh, I don't know. There were some in the desert areas, but not many. They typically hang out in like the middle Hyrule area, which I mean, it makes sense. Uh, where is that? That's the plateau. West Neckleda, that's- oh yeah, that's Dueling Peaks. Is that the flower shrine over there? I think it is. Uh... Let's go over here by the, um... Oh wait, am I right here anyway? I think I just teleported somewhere like two feet away. I don't know. Oh yeah, I did. I'm looking at my replay and I just teleported like a little bit over to the east. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can uh, see any encampments from here. I need eight more, and then maybe after, like, another one or two encampments, I'll go back to Kakariko, and I'll see if they have more in stock. Seems like a good idea. Okay, so here's the stables. What is all of that over there? Those, like, bones. I don't remember... I don't remember exploring that before. That's not part of Hyrule Castle, is it? No. Can't be. Let's go check. I don't remember- I, I actually don't remember exploring that, that at all over there. What is- what is that? I don't know. Come on, Link. Let's go exploring. Wait, though. Is that a Bokoblin? It's a Bokoblin, but it's a red one, so I don't care. I don't care that much about him. There's like a bunch of Ganon goop over here. I wish there was armor that made your run speed last longer, like your run stamina, or like you take less stamina to run, I guess is more of the point. Um... Hey, what is this? It's just, it's just like an entrance into the Hyrule Castle area. It's gotta be more than that. Oh, there's a skull over here. Maybe there's some bokoblins hanging out. 
Oh, and I'm, I'm starting to remember where I think I saw a couple more, just in case this is not going to work out for us. What What is this? Oh. What's going to be in here? Oh. Royal Broadsword, but it's only got 36 damage, so that's actually really not that great. That's a two-handed weapon, I think, essentially with a uh, pretty low attack on it, so... Um, yeah. There was one Bacoblin here. A red one, but that's like... Oh my gosh, are those all keys? That is a lot of keys. What is this place? And how did I not find this before? Oh my gosh, is this like... Is this, like, the Bacoblin's, like, main lair? What the heck have I just stumbled upon? Oh, I missed him. Dang it. Got him. Oh, this is Tar. Get out, Link. Get out. Oh. Oh, that was close. Um. Am I supposed to do this? Oh my gosh, I drown in that little tiny bit of tar? Alright, I think I'm supposed to do this. Oh, what? Stay! Why are you not... Is that gonna stay, or is that gonna fall? Oh, oh, Link, you can- I, I believe in you, I believe in you, I believe in you, I believe in you, Woo! Okay, what a way up. Um, <gasps> ooh. Actually, let's get a better- let's get a better weapon for this sneak. I want something that'll do, like, a decent amount of damage here. <gasps> oh no, Link, Link, crouch. And actually, while we're at it, just so they absolutely will not hear me coming, I'm gonna go after the Moblin first, because he's gonna have way more health than the other guy. Is now ready to roll. Are you- how did you hear me coming? What? Okay, th this is not even- this is not even fair. Um... Okay, uh, I want to get, like, away. Jeez, these things hit hard. Gotcha, alright. <laughs> oh, this is awesome doing this. Nice. Wow, they dropped a lot of stuff. Um, and he dropped- he did drop some guts, so that's good for me. Ooh, is there another one over here? Yeah, there is. Oh, dang it. Wait, what? Come over here. How did- ooh. Wait, I hear- ooh. Ooh, bomb arrows. What the heck? Where did those come from? Something must have died over here. <laughs> What is that? So, oh, it's just a regular soldier. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, you blocked me. Okay. I don't want you to fall off the edge, though. Like, I want... I want you to, like... I need your... Oh no, I need your loot! Goodbye. That really sucks. Okay, I really need to not let this... Moblin fall like he needs to come up here. Hey, come up here. Hello up here. Mr. Moblin Come on Are you throwing rocks at me? Come on. Just just get up here Just get up here. Stop throwing Stop throwing rocks at me. Just You stupid Moblin come on Or Bacoblin you're not a Moblin. You don't earn that title. <gasps> no I need your guts! Arr! 
What a stupid area to put enemies that drop good things on. Like, come on. Man. Oh, I'm so angry. Is there anything back here? All right, let's go check Kakariko again. I want to see if they have it, those uh, guts in stock in the store there again yet. I'm so mad. <sighs> I can't believe that just happened. I was even trying to be careful, and he just flung himself off the side. He's like, well, if I'm not going to live, then you're not getting your Bacoblin guts. I never want to see Bacoblin guts again after today. <laughs> Like, I'm already just, I'm sick of it. And actually, I know that there are other pieces of gear that require it, so what I'm going to do is, like, ne from now on, every time I come back to Kakariko, I'm going to check the shop and buy any Bacoblin Guts that are there. Hopefully they're they're back in stock by now. It's been about a, an in-game's day or two's worth of time. Yeah, there's some here. How many, though? Three. Okay. How many do I need now? I need four more. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, let me, since since I am running a little bit tight on time, sort of, let's do, okay. Bacoblin guts. Yeah. Okay, let's see what, let's see what the Wikipedia page says. Um, nothing. It, it gives me... It gives me nothing. Okay. Is there any good way to get the Cobblin Guts? Somebody asks on game FAQs. Um, last piece of gear. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Can't you buy them in the store in Kakariko Village? Yes, you can. Is that the only place you can buy them, though? Yeah, everyone's just like, oh, they're all over the place, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, the only place you can purchase them is Kakariko, apparently. Um, someone said east of the Great Plateau, but I already did that. I already went east of the Great Plateau and checked over there, right? So, where else could I go? Oh, man. What about that over there? Sure. I'm trying to think. Well, oh, wait. I was thinking of. There was another place that I had remembered. Oh, what did I remember? I remembered. Uh. Oh, I I do remember. I I kind of remember where I. Rem I kind of remember where I remember seeing them. Yeah, great use of of vocabulary there, Vinny. Um. But no, I, I do... After I check here, I'm going to still check here, but then after I check here, I think I know one more place where they might be. At least there will be encampments. I don't know if there's going to be any white white bacoblins or not. Oh, I was like, what What sensor is going off? That's my, like, rare ore sensor, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Now yeah, let's get this while we're here, why not? Oh, nice, that was worth it. Two topaz and a sapphire. Heck yes, I'll take that. Um, I do vaguely remember there being a couple here, but they were, like, stray bacoblins. They weren't, like, in an encampment, and I have a feeling that the encampments are just going to be like the best way in general to find them. Um, but let's, let's do this. Let's glide down here. See if we can find any along the way. Actually, this might, this might be close to the area that I was thinking of anyway. Oh, it's another, another Korok puzzle down there. But unless I see the cube, the cube's probably in the water, isn't it? Yeah, the cube's total. oh wait, no. It's over there. What? Wouldn't I just, like, pop it back in the same thing, but, like, all the way? No. Does it go... 
Like, okay, I obviously need to look at the other one over there, but it's so far away. It's so far away. Let's just try all the places. Let's just try every place. Every... Oh, come on. In you go. In. I said in. I said in. Dang it. Okay, it doesn't go there. It could go up on top somewhere. Probably not, though. Does it just go on the other... Oh, ow. That hurt. It probably just goes over here somewhere. Just send that as far over there as we can, then we'll pick it up on the other side. Unless it flows down the river, in which case I'm sad, but it, it doesn't seem to flow down the river. Really, Link? Come on. Okay. Ow. Um, oh, I think it's I think it's this one on the bottom. I don't know, maybe. Can you, can you stop throwing your, your stuff at me? Stop throwing your stuff at me. I'm trying to do this puzzle, Octorok, and I really don't have time time to deal with you. Come on, just go in, in, in the cube. Cube, please. Ow. I know I'm taking damage. I kind of still don't care, though. Okay, that is not where that goes. Um, how are you even, like, why are Octorok such a good aim in this game? I feel like they're really good. Well, I'm also kind of staying still and giving it free shots, but you know what I mean, like, even when I'm trying to avoid them, I feel like they hit, like, pretty frequently. <sighs> okay, we're still looking for bokoblins. That is what we are doing. Oh, there's a guardian over there. Okay, so, um, in that case... Where is that one? Oh, it oh, it's over here. I think. Mm, no, no, no. Oh, man. I, I went to the wrong place. Dang it. Trying to remember where all these Bokoblin encampments are, it's just... I don't know, like... They're all over the place, and yet they're, like, for some reason right now, the hardest thing for me to find. <laughs> of course. Anytime I, I don't want Bokoblins, though, you betcha they'll be there. Okay. I will check this area anyway, since I'm just here, but I'm pretty positive there's not going to be any... Oh, well, maybe over there. Unless those are Lizalfos. Those are Lizalfos, but these might be Bokoblins. That's a white Lizalfos down there. Oh, yeah, they're... Okay. All right, game. Have it your way. Oh, my God. I love the slow motion. Can I do this? Oh, oh shoot, I, I meant to hold on to it longer. <laughs> I love doing that. That is the one good use of two-handed weapons, is swinging them around in a circle like that. Uh, that's a downgrade. Ooh, we got two guts out of this one encampment, so that means we need two more, right? We, need, we just need two more. Okay. Oh, and he might drop some. Probably not, but you never know. The blue ones seem to drop guts pretty frequently, too. Like, not not amazingly frequently, but at least a little bit of the time. Um, just checking to see if there's any more encampments up here. There might be. There's a, oh, a Thunder Keys. Go away, Thunder Keys. Shoo. Any more? Oh, over there might actually be where I thought the, the other encampments were, though. So maybe if I just follow the river, I'll find more. Seems like a good enough plan. I need to use this re the rest of these Revali's, um, Gale anyway, so that I can, uh, get it recharging again. That, again, that is one of the, the gripes that I have with this game, is that I think each individual charge of these abilities should recharge on its own, instead of all three uh, charges charging at the same time. And only once you use all three. Like, that just seems really dumb to me. Um... See you later, guys! 
Uh, okay, there's gotta be some bokoblins over here, right? There's just gotta be. There might be some over there in that corner now that I look that way. But... Are there any fruit? No, yeah, maybe I need to go back the other way. Alright. Shoot. I, I think I see what might be a bokoblin encampment over here. There's definitely, uh, stall Lizalfos around here. But that's not what I want. Whew, we're almost done, we're almost done, we're almost done. Uh, I just need two more, right? That's it? Just two more? Just two more. Two more, Vinny, two more. You can do it. I'm getting, like, a little bit, um... Not tunnel vision, but I'm kind of zoning out, because this is just, like not the most exciting thing that I, I could be doing right now. You know, what's really exciting that I could be doing right now is I could be going to Ganon, but I am too proud and I don't want to beat him with the ancient armor, but I'm also too scared to beat him without decent enough armor, and hence why I'm upgrading Link's Hylian armor, Hylian armor. Um, <laughs> so no matter what, which way I do this, I just can't seem to win, but... We're almost done. Just two more. In fact, I could probably just wait until morning and Kakariko Village would probably have more in stock. And don't tell me that there's, like, no Bokoblins over here. There's no Bokoblins over here, is there? Really? Um... Dang it. Ooh. Wait. What is this? Ooh, there's something to bomb. Sure. This is why I came over here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go with that. Oh, really? That's it? Are you kidding me? I just blew that up for some rock salt? You've gotta be kidding me, game. You have got to be kidding me. Ooh, a Korok thingy. Where does this go? Where do you go, little cube? Where do you go? Uh, no, seriously, though, where do you go? Where is your home? <laughs> what the heck? Where does this thing go? I don't see I don't see any place for it. Is that is it over here somewhere? And that's why I had to blow up these rocks? No. What the heck? Okay, link back up, back up, back up. Oh, link up. There we go. Uh I'm very confused. Where does this go? Does it go like up the up the way here? Uh Clearly it goes somewhere. I just don't see where that somewhere is. Um Yeah, I see the rare ore node over there. Okay, let's let's put it away for now. Let's just go grab this node so the thing will stop. Oh wait, no, that's not a node, that's like a flower plant. Like a silent, whatever they're called. Urbosa's fury is ready. Oh man, that's so weird. Where did that cube go? Like, where do, where does it go to? Rather, okay. Um, where, where else would bokoblins be? I know. Bo oh, I know. Bokoblins are also over here, near the ancient tech lab. I just don't think that they're on mass, so. I don't know how good this will do us, but, I mean, all we need is, like, two more white ones, and we should have enough. Like, the white ones seem to be a 100% drop rate for the guts. They seem to be, anyway. If your weapon is close to breaking, try throwing it at an enemy using R. It will deal double your damage if it hits. That is true. That is why I sometimes throw away my breaking weapons. Okay, so I th think over here there might be some bokoblins, like, off this cliff. And this horse, I tamed this horse, and I kind of just left it here, like, a week ago, and it's just been sitting here, or standing here, like, looking longingly off the cliff. Like, I'm sorry, horse, but I just don't find you very useful, so I typically, like... I, I don't come- I don't- I'm not coming back for you, is what I'm saying. So you should just go off and be a free horse. Be free. Um... 
There's moblins down. Okay, here's what I was looking for. This is this is more or less what I want, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, they got wrecked. Wow. Come on, Link. Oh, that is so much fun. That is so much fun to do that. Um... Where, what? I got electric chew jelly? Like, yellow chew jelly? That's so weird and random. Did I only get one... Um, yes I did. I only got one... one guts? One guts? That's weird grammar, that's probably incorrect, but whatever. You know what I mean. Are there more back here? I need to use up this last charge of Verbosa's Fury anyway. Oh! Apparently I killed a Moblin over here! Uh, with Herbosa's Fury and didn't even know. That is how good that ability is. It, it really, it just wrecks everything. I don't know, there was a guide online that was like, Oh, this is the order you should do the Divine Beasts in because this is how they're most useful. And it was like, Ruda, which is like, just if you die, you don't die and you get the free hearts, which like is pretty useful, especially earlier on. But in my opinion, Mado is easily the most useful ability early on in the game. Um, but Urbosa's Fury, they were like, Urbosa's Fury's not good. It's like not a good ability. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Have you actually ever used it before? Because it it destroys everything. It's an AoE radius. It's a huge radius. It one-shots um, stationary guardians, like, without having to use an arrow or anything. Like, it's, Gale is now it's ready. really good. I don't know how anyone could say it's not good, but whatever. Um, should we go back to Kakariko now? I think... I think we're about... We're looking like we're gonna have to go back to Kakariko. Because I'm not seeing any more moblins, but maybe I'll look over yonder here. <laughs> over yonder here. That made no sense. Um, I mean, I see these guys. Can I maybe, like, get on top of this house? I, wait, these guys. There's only one. Where, where did I see another one? I thought I just saw two. Ooh. Oh, wait. Wait, is this where I literally just was? Hold on. Did I just go in a big... A big circle? Probably, knowing me. Are there any... I did. I just went in a big circle. Okay, let's check Kakariko one more time. Please, Kakariko, come through. Have some more Bacoblin Guts. I just need one more. One more Bacoblin Gut, and I will have the 30 that I need to upgrade my armor, and then we can go kill Ganon. Okay? Technically. Well, I kind of want to get some arrows and, and some make some food, too. But then after that, we will go kill Ganon. After that. Um, ooh, we might, uh, oh man, I'm like one spirit orb away from having another stamina gauge, but I don't, I don't think the stamina gauge is super important to have for Ganon's castle, like, it'll help me getting around, but I have Revali's um, Gale and all this other stuff, so I just really genuinely don't think it's gonna be an issue. When I was exploring around in there a little while ago, like, it was, well, you'll see. I, I won't, I won't spoil it, but you'll see. Come on, please have the Coblin Guts. I need your guts to make some clothes. Yes! Oh, there's Bacoblin Guts here. I'm gonna buy all of them anyway. I just need one, but I'm buying all of them. Take all. Yes, please. I wonder what the- I wonder how this respawns. Like, I wonder- I wonder what- what is involved in that. And I'm lazy, so I'm fast traveling back up to the top of the mountain. We are almost there. 111 Korok seeds. You would think that that was a lot, because it is, but there's 900. So you're like, oh, that's still only like 10% of the Korok seeds in the game, like, you know, around there. Um, but I have 71 out of 120 shrines. That's that's pretty impressive. I, I was debating whether or not I wanted to do all 120 shrines before I went to Ganon, but then I read that if you if you beat Ganon or when you beat Ganon, um, the game doesn't save after that. It puts you right back to where you were before you went into the room to fight Ganon. So I can beat the game um, and, and just like, I don't wanna say get it over with, but like I'm really ready to know what happens. Um, and then I can go back and do all the shrines in like my own time and stuff. Um, and maybe a little bit on stream, we'll see. Um, but yeah, finally, okay, we should have, we should have everything we need now. 
Mm. Yes, please enhance my clothing to the max. Now, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. Hylian hood. Yes. Ah. Mm. That's very suggestive, what's happening down there in that fairy fountain. Um, enhance away. Do the legs now. Do my legs. have maxed out Link's basic, basic clothing. The only thing we didn't do is we didn't max out his, uh, he has a Hylian tunic too, but the champion's tunic, in my opinion, is what Link is, like, meant to be wearing. Um, so, like, I'll show it. Like, this, this, and this are all technically part of the same set, but that chess piece, like, no, it's supposed to be this. Like, that's what it's supposed to be, in my opinion. The the helm is even debatable. Like, you could say, oh, well, Link's not even supposed to be wearing the helm, because he wears it in none of the cutscenes from the memories. But, since it's the most basic helm that he has, really, that doesn't have any other bonuses or anything on it, I think that that's, like, it's safe to say that that's the, that's his, like, helm. His, his like, basic main helm. Now, I want to equip that. And then, okay, now what I want to do is I want to go back into the village. Uh, yep, yeah, this way. Back into the village. Because I I want to stock up on arrows, so I'm going to go around to the main major shops, like Kakariko, Zora's Domain, uh, Goron City, I think, sells some to... Um, the uh, Rito play sells some. I'm just gonna buy up as many like arrows and things as I can because I'm probably gonna need them and I don't want to run out and then I want to head over to the ancient tech lab and I want to buy I want to use some of my ancient gear and some of my rupees to um, yeah. to make some things. Okay oh. we'll hey. buy those, we'll buy these. Oh. Yep we will buy oh. your fire arrows Yep, all of them, please. Okay, now we teleport over to the Zora's Domain. I just bought some ice arrows from over here, but I want to buy some more if they have them, because I'm kind of short on ice arrows, I think. Not that I... I don't think I'll need ice arrows, to be honest. I don't, I don't know why I would need ice arrows, but just in case I do... I don't know, the Ganon's castle, or Hyrule castle, seems to be like a dungeon. It has a 3D map and everything. So I think that they, the game considers that to be um, a, among the same caliber as like the Divine Beast dungeons. So it's very possible there's like actual puzzles to complete. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of like, kind of edging on, on not having enough time, so I'm trying to hurry it up, but... I usually only stream till about 10 to 10.30. Um, I might go until 11. I don't know. I, c I could go as long as I wanted to. The problem is, is that people start coming home and, you know, and then they can't come in the room because I'm streaming. I mean, I guess they could, but, uh, there we go. Ice arrows, please. I'll take them all. But I'm going to sell some stuff, too, eventually to some of these shops because I won't have enough rupees to do what I would like. So, like, here, Akala Stables. We want to go to the stables first. The joys of rain. Some animals love playing in the rain, and there are certain plants that only bloom during rainstorms. What plants only bloom during rainstorms? I don't think I've noticed any that only bloom during rainstorms. I'll have to look that up. Because I haven't noticed... I mean, unless there's a plant that I just haven't discovered yet that only grows during rain, but... I also don't typically go looking for plant materials during the rainstorms, but... Um, now, the reason I'm coming over here is because Beetle usually has some arrows on him for, like, sort of cheap. Oh, there you are, Beetle. Making your way in, huh? Oh, Link, I knew I'd see you again. Yeah, yeah, we're stalking you. Haha, ha, it's so funny. You love the attention. Okay, come on. Uh, give me all your arrows. I will take all of them. And I want all of 
your smotherwing butterflies as well, because I know that that upgrades the uh, the flame breaker wow. set. Wow. And sure, and then I want to sell you some things, Ooh. Beetle. Um, I want to sell you. Oh, wow, look at all these look at all these materials I have now. Um, let's just sell like I don't know uh, twenty uh, twenty four of these. Yeah, that's a lot of rupees, my goodness. Um, and am I okay for now? Like, I kind of want to hold on to as much as I can. Um, let's sell three rubies. I can always farm more of these. Now, what about, like, these parts? I I'll hold on to these, because I, I know I'm going to need them up here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the ancient tech lab. Come on, loading screen. Let's go loading screen. Why? Sometimes, like, the loading screen, if you're only going a little, like, a little ways away, it's really quick. But then sometimes it's like, I don't know, like, this one was relatively long. So one, that's another thing I, you know, that at Zelda, you normally don't have to wait for too many loading screens, but you do in this one. Okay, so I want to get some ancient arrows. Uh, what do I want to make in the way of weapons, though? The short sword is a one-hander. I don't want to pick up the shield. I don't like two-handers, typically. I could technically grab a spear. The short sword and the spear both take two. I don't have any giant ancient cores, so I can't make an ancient bow. So I guess, yeah, pretty much, like, the, the logical way to go would be to make a... S right. Uh, okay. This is almost broken. It... I need- I kind of want to keep the torch on me, though, just in case. Oh, oh, I really hate dropping this, but sure. Yes, I want a short sword. And I was gonna get a spear, too, but maybe I won't now. Yeah, maybe I'll just get some arrows. How many do I have? I have four in my inventory, so I'll buy, like, ten of these. No, 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 no. I want more of these, actually, because they take out guardians, and I'm really gonna want to take out guardians as many as I can. Okay, that's fine. Now, now we can go... I'm even gonna skip out on Goron, Goron City. I'll just go straight to, um, to Rito Village. Because I know they have arrows and stuff there, plus I just want to sell... Now that I have used up, like, a decent portion of my ancient, like, gears and stuff, um, and I know that I don't really need much more of them, at least at the moment, I can sell a little bit more to get some more money back, and then... Past that, like, I'll make a little bit of food to make sure that I have, you know, the variety of buffs that I might need, and then past that, it's, we're good to go. Hopefully I'll get in there to Hyrule Castle before 9 o'clock, and then hopefully it won't take more than like an hour and a half, two hours. Hopefully it won't. Um, but we'll see. Uh, where am I? Okay. Now, oh, no, wait, go this way. Thank you. Where is the shop? I think it's... I think it's downstairs. It's like right here, isn't it? Uh, no, that's the inn. The shop is right there. No, get off that post, Link. What are you doing? Alright, but do you have... Ah, you do. You have regular arrows. So I can buy 15 of these for 60. I actually don't even technically need to sell anything else, do I? And I have 47 bomb arrows. I think I'm good on bomb arrows. Hi. Um, hi. Let's talk to you and sell you <laughs> something. Wait, what? Hi. What did you just say? <laughs> Wait, what? Hi. Oh, here to sell. Oh. What do you sell? Usually the here to sell, like, I want to sell something is the second option. That's why I was so confused there. Um, okay, I know for a fact I don't need this many gears, so I'm gonna sell like 36 of these, and, and look at this, look at how much they sell for, look at how much, um, how many rupees I'm gonna get for this, 1,080 for 36 of those things, that's not bad, and I know I don't need that many screws, so we'll sell like, 
I don't know, 68 of these, maybe? Keep about 130 of them? Or maybe, like, uh, 73? Keep 125? I don't know, I like, I like those numbers. By 25s and, like, even numbers, I'm all OCD about stuff like that. Um, and we'll keep, we'll keep about 125 of these as well, just because I don't, I don't know, I don't want to get rid of all of them. And I, I need the shafts. The shafts are used to make arrows, so I don't like selling those, and I don't sell the cores. Um, we have a ton of these, but I'd kind of like to trade them into the, the guy for Mon, Mon, uh, which is, like, the monster currency. Okay, now, let's go find, let's, let's do our cooking here, why not? Get one last look at this beautiful place before we go off into oblivion. Um, is it further up? Yeah, I think it's further up and around. Hey, Saki, that's, a uh, Leba? Is that the, the guy's name that helped us out? Oh, I, I can't remember. That's his wife, though. What is your name? Oh, you're not him. What are you, why are you here, Hearth? I guess you're his fr oh wait, no. Where... Is he here? Oh, he's not- oh, that's right, he went off to the- to the range with his son. Um, but back down here, though, is what I want. I want, uh, this? Wait, what? Wait, what? Hold on, I thought the cooking pot was- Okay, is it- did I- oh my god, I passed it. It's right here. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Okay. So first, let's look at what we have. We need some more just regular restoring food, because that's really good if you don't want your buffs to be overridden. So like, if I were to buff myself with attack, and then eat a defense food, it would give me the defense thing instead of the attack. So what you do is you pick whatever buff you want, and then you eat, like, regular food if you just have to eat food. Or you eat these, like, full recovery plus, you know, blah blah blahs. So, let's look at attack, though. I think attack food's important, but we seem to have a decent amount of that. Um, defense. Let's, uh, let's make some defensive food. Let's put that in. Uh, what else does defense? I know Amaranth does defense. Does anything else do defense? Stamina recovery. Armored carp. Armored Carp does. Alright, let's toss all those in, see what they make. High level defense, hopefully. <laughs> High level defense, four minutes. Okay, good. Um, let's do two of these again then. Um, and I'm out of... Okay, Bright-Eyed Crab, you don't... What do you do? You do stamina. That's stealth. Hardy Salmon is maximum hearts. High roll Bass is just your basic run-of-the-mill whatever. Um, sure, let's toss one of those in, and like, a couple of rock salts, just to see if this will make anything good. I don't- I think this is gonna be like, low or mid defense. I don't think this is gonna be a very good meal. Yeah, low defense boost. Okay. Um, we definitely want to make these. Uh, we want a lot of stamina, for sure. Um, let's just toss five of these in, see what it makes. Nice. I'll, I'll take that. We'll just, we'll make, like, a couple more of these. Don't want to use all of it, but a couple more would be fine. Nice, nice. Um, maximum hearts. We, I found out that, okay, you can't go above the maximum of 30 hearts no matter what. Um, but since I obviously am nowhere near the 30, I'm at like 16 out of 30, any food that gives me 15 plus overfill hearts or more is, is good to use. Um, so let's just do that, I think. I already have a bunch of this food, so I don't need to make too much more, but I'll make it while I'm here. And a plus six, that's, it's still fine. It's a full recovery. That's good no matter how you slice it. Um... Do I have fire resistant food or or yeah okay I, or cold resistant and eh, whatever um, 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 um what else uh, I need oh there was something else that I wanted I wanted oh maybe it was stamina food that I was thinking of no I what else can I make what else can I make hold on materials I can make more attack I can make movement speed let's do like five of these. Oh no, not not four. I want five. Oh. 
High level movement speed. That's that's pretty good. I shouldn't need too many of those though. And I have tons of stealth food. Um I can make some more attack food. I just I don't think I'm going to need it. Uh what does this do? Stamina recovery effect, meh. Um I don't need electricity. Am I just am I good to go? Oh man. I think I might be. Um, let's just double check attack and defense food, because I'm going to be using those more than anything else, I think. We've got five different attack foods. One of them is mid, though, mid-level. Two of them are mid-level. We've got a bunch of defense, but four of them are high, and one of them is low. So maybe let's try making one more defense and one more attack, if I have the materials for it. I know I do for the attack. I don't know about the other one, though. I think four bananas and some meat will make a high level with, like, uh, some part recovery to it. Yeah. Um, and then, do I have anything else that does defense? I don't think I do. If that's the case, then I'll just do another attack one, I guess, but I'll do, I'll do four of them and then, like, uh, some salt. I think that increases the duration. Salty bananas does not sound good, but it'll make something good. Yeah. All right. So let's just sort everything out. Let's make sure we got everything in order. Got our weapons. We've got our master sword. We've got our bows and our arrows. We've got plenty of arrows. Plenty all around. All types of arrows. We're, we're good. Um, there's our armor all sorted out. There's our food all sorted out, our material, and there's our food all sorted out, and there's those. Um, are all my abilities... Okay, Urbosa's Fury and Daruk's Protection. I could probably let, like, okay, I'll at least do the Ur Urbosa's Fury right now. And I'll let that recharge. Um, and then, like, the, the two things, the Daruk's, are probably fine, though. So, now... I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's travel to Hyrule Castle and take on Ganon. Gosh, this loading, loading bar is so slow. Why are you extra slow, loading, loading bar? I can't believe that, like, to prepare for Ganon, the one thing that I ended up doing was farming the Coblins, like, possibly the most basic, easy enemy in this game. That was, like, the last thing that I needed to do to prepare. Like, there's just some, there's some real irony in that. Um... Okay. Let's make sure we have the Master Sword. Alright, here we are. We're at Ganon's Castle. I almost kind of want to do this starting at night, but we'll... I don't know. And I feel extra scared. I feel extra scared, guys, because I'm coming in here with only, like... Um, oh, no. I'm coming in here with 72 armor, which is not terrible. Like, I'll admit, that's not terrible. But if I were wearing the ancient armor, for example, like if I were wearing the ancient um, legs, I'd go up to 80... And then, like, another... And then, like, the helm, I'd go up to, uh, 88. I'd have 88 if I were using that in the champion's tunic. Or I'd have, like, 84 or 82 otherwise. Um, stasis rune. We're gonna hunt these guardians on the way in. We are going to hunt them on the way in. Oh, it's so weird being able to see its, um, its life bar. Oh, wait, why is that... Oh, wait, does the, uh... Oh no, that took two hits. Why did that... Why did that take three hits, that first leg? I don't know, it felt like it did. Maybe it didn't. Okay, let's get out our ancient arrows. Hey you, Mr. Guardian, look at me. Smile for the camera! Alright. So he's taken care of. Ooh, of course now you drop ancient cores when I don't need you. You drop two of them on camera. No one believed me. I bet you everyone was like, oh, they don't drop cores. Like, you've never gotten a core on camera or whatever. Now I get two. 
despite saying that I've gotten two before from one guardian in the past. Whatever. How do you feel without legs, guardian? You're about- oh! Wait, Link! Link, turn around! Wow, are you kidding me? Link, 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 Link. Stupid leg. Stupid leg. Um, I am not going in the goop to kill that other leg. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Turn and look at me. Turn and look- Look! The face of- Seriously? Just- just look at me. Oh my god, stop moving, stop moving. How are you moving? With one leg. You shouldn't be able to move with one. Oh, my Master Sword just ran out of energy? What timing? Are you kidding me? Now is not the time, Master Sword. But sure, ten minutes from now you'll be back, I guess. What am I What am I wielding in, in the meantime here? Um, oh man, I kind of don't... Alright, I'll use the Wind Cleaver. I don't really like this weapon because it's a two-hander and it's slow, but... I'm gonna use it. Alright, so we want to head up this main path, I think. I want to try to do some exploring, too. I'm not just going to go straight in and try to find Ganon. If there's, like, diaries and stuff that I can read, I'm reading them. Just saying that ahead of time. Because I, I want to get, like, as much of the story and lore as possible. And I think Zelda, like, when I explored in her earlier, I think I came across Zelda's diary. And I want to find that again, and I want to read it, because I didn't read it when I was here. I tried to avoid all spoilery things while I was actually here. Here we go! Ganon's castle, or Hyrule castle, I guess. It's both now, let's be honest. This, this place belongs to Ganon at the moment. It is his uh, place of residency. Open those doors. Alright. Oh no, I'm being seen. Where, where am I? What am I being seen by? Oh, hello. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna try to be a little stealthy when I can. Alright, these are not too bad. The Guardians are not that scary. That's why, like... Oh, that Guardian up there sees me. God, how much damage is, is this gonna do to me if it hits me? I don't have the Guardian Resist gear on, I just realized. That would make my time a lot easier in here if I did, though. Alright, now I have- I think I have a couple of choices here. I can either find an eyeball here to hit, which I do not see. Oh, there it is, but it's like facing the other way. So I think what I need to do here... I actually do need to switch gear. I need to switch some armor. Um, let's go to Zora armor. Let's go ahead and jump in this water and then go up. I like that it is making us use these different, you know, pieces of gear. Okay, now, uh, I guess go back here. Now, when I came in here last time, there was a Lynel, but I don't know if I've had a Blood Moons. Oh my, oh my god. Yes, yes, it's here! It's here! Wow, that actually scared the crap out of me. Come on. Oh my gosh, this guy's gonna take forever without my ancient gear. Wait, he doesn't even see me. What? Eat Daruk's protection, Lynel. Alright, that broke. Come on, Link, you can do it. I mean, we've already got him down to like a third of his health, so that's not too bad. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh man, he hit me. Alright, fine. Wait, are you kidding me? Can you just... Oh man, these skulls are gonna give me problems, aren't they? Yep, they are. They totally are. Just go away, Skulls. I know I need to, like, kill the eye above me. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Our weapons are, like, we're going through them. That's for sure. Ow. He doesn't hit very hard, though. I, I will say that much. Oh, no. Just keep slashing away at him. Okay, that's badly damaged, that's dead now. Let's use the flame blade. Ow. 
I'm just gonna let him do damage to me, honestly. I'm not I'm not that worried about this guy. Come on, Link. He should be dead after like another cycle or two of this thing. Ow. <laughs> like, I I am not taking too much damage. Ooh. Two three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, I only need like three more hits on him. One, two, three, and we'll do one more for good measure. Okay, now that he's down, let's collect loot. Can you guys go away? They're so annoying. Collect all their loot. And where is this eyeball at? This eyeball spawner. Um, I want... No, wait, what? No, I want the same bow. I just want different arrows. Thanks. Alright, that's taken care of. Can you guys all die? Like, my gosh. You're not even, like, difficult. You're just annoying. You're, you're literally only there to be annoying. Um, I heard there is a rumor, and I'm pretty sure it's a true rumor, because, you know, uh... It probably just is, but I heard that. Oh my gosh. Um. No, I don't. I don't. Oh no. I. Oh no. Alright, I want to try something. Okay, I, I failed. I failed. I failed. Oh no, 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 no. No. Oh shoot. Oh man. Um. Sure. I, I, I have a... F oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just get out of the way, Link. Just just stop it. Just stop taking damage from these guys, please. Just get out of... Just get out of there. Just get out of there. Okay. I heard that somewhere in this castle you can get... Um, you can get, like, the Hylian shield. This is definitely a little bit harder now that I don't have the ancient armor on, for sure. Where, where is this guy? I hear him, but I don't see him. Ah, you're up here. Well. Look, look behind you, you big jerk. Hey. Are you kidding me? Do I have to poke you with... No, there we go. You're taken care of. I will collect your loot. Oh man, they see me over there. Problem is, like, I'm, I don't, I don't believe I'm, I'm that good of a shot to be able to take care of them. I know that if I had Druid's protection, I could 100% um, deflect their attacks. Yeah, see, I wasn't even close. I wasn't even close. I suck it at long range with the bow, which is hilarious because that's what it's meant for. Oh, is there- oh, there's rare ore. I was like, I thought there was a shrine for a second. Um, maybe we'll just go stealth. We'll, like, we'll ignore these guys. We'll pretend that, that this is, like, a stealth mission. Wait, why did I come in here in the first place? Wasn't I trying to get to the other side? Where are we? And what are the red things supposed to be on the map? Calamity Ganon's up there. My, that's my current position, but what are the red ones? Are those just, like- is that just showing me where I can go, I guess, essentially? I don't know. I could go up that waterfall, but I don't know why I'd want to. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, hello. Uh... Whoop. Can I collect your loot? Luckily you don't take damage if you're close to these guys when they blow up. That would really suck if you did, though. Alright, this is about where I was when I found the memory in here. So I kind of know where I am and maybe where I'm going a little bit. Um, I wonder if there's anything in the water here. I wonder if there's going to be, like, small keys and stuff that I have to collect. Alright. 
These guys are a little bit scary just because, like, I don't have that many arrows and I'm trying to save them because I might want to use them on Ganon. Like, I don't know. Like, what's over there? Hmm. I could explore around in this place forever. This, this, this is huge. It's a lot bigger than you think it would be. Ah. Oh yeah, here's the white moblin. Um, sure. Just keep him on the floor as long as we can, I think. Ooh, frame rate. There's Druk's protection. Oh, but I don't... I hope it doesn't waste it on this guy. Like, I don't want him to get any hits on me. Um, go Link. Man, this guy has a ton. A ton of health. Oh my gosh, my f Oh! Oh my gosh, is my game, like, dying or something? What the heck is going on? It does not like this room at all. That's so weird. Um... Oh man, there goes one. Oh, well, you're dead. Goodbye. Wait, you're not dead? Are you kidding me? Can I snipe him from up here with regular arrows? Or how about, how about this? Oh man, that didn't do very much damage. Can't believe I'm using bomb arrows to kill him. Oh, uh, do I even want to jump down and, and... Oh, he jumped like a topaz and stuff. Whatever, don't look at it, Vinny. Don't look at it. That's not why we're here. Um, what is in this chest? I found this last time I was here looking for the memory and I didn't pick it up. Alright, 100 rupees. That That's not that great. What is this? Read Zelda's diary, yes. After meeting with the champions, I left to research the ancient technology, but nothing of note came of my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we, so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me at, puts me at, puts me ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. P.S. Tomorrow my father is assigning him as my appointed knight. Him? I thought you didn't like me at first. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to Divine Beast Fa Rudanya. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walked ahead. The feeling stayed with me so long I grew anxious and weary. It's the same feeling I felt before in his company and still not a word passes his lips. I never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he, what he is thinking but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family yet unable to use sealing magic. He must despise me. Also, she thought I hated him. Or hated her. Uh. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere. I was feeling depressed and I had told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does. And so I yelled at him without restraint. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty and my guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. I'm unsure how to put today's events into words. Words so often evade me lately, now and now more than ever. He saved me. Without a thought for his own life, he protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan. Though I've been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn. Still, he was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologize for all that has transpired be between us. And then I will try talking to him. To Link. It's worth a shot. As if we didn't know who she was talking about. Bit by bit, I've gotten Link to open up to me. It turns out he's quite a glutton. <laughs> he can't resist a delicious meal. When I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say, but he did. With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and to silently bear any burden. A feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him to not to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I like that they're trying to sort of explain why Link is mostly mute. I always believed him to be simply a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and to see what lies beneath those calm waters, to hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I, too, will be able to bear my soul to him and share his share the demons that have plagued me all these years. 
father scolded me again today. He told me I am to have nothing more to do with research with researching ancient technology. He insisted that I focus instead on training that will help me awaken my sealing magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I've been training since I was a child, and yet... Mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not just a mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, all will be well in the end. You can do anything. But she was so wrong. No matter how I try or how much time passes, the sealing power that is my birthright evades me. Tomorrow, I journey with Link to the Spring of Power to train, but this too will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, haloed by a blinding light. I sensed she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my power was awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I'm sure I will know the I'm sure I will know the answer soon, whether I wish to or not. Oh, here we go. I turned 17 today. That means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Lanayru. The other champions will accompany us there. I've not seen my father since he last scolded me. Oh no. Things are too strange now. I will meet him. I will meet with him when I return. She doesn't though. She doesn't meet with him again. So the last time he spoke to her was when he scolded her. That's so sad. Actually, I had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. That's it. There's no more. That's when the calamity happens. Oh, man. She. So the last thing that her dad said to her was, was when he yelled at her about how she wasn't allowed to go and, and pay any more attention to uh, the uh, technology. Oh, that's so sad. Ooh, what is that? How do I get that? What the heck? Oh, I just climb up this wall. That looks shiny. Royal Guard's bow, 62 attack? Uh, yeah. I'll take it. Wait, I can't- oh, I can't drop that from up here? Oh, man. Come on, Link. There we go. Nice. Oh, man. Is there anything else in here? Just want to make sure I'm not really missing anything. I wonder... Can I climb up here? Like, why would I want to do this, but... Is there something secret? Ooh, there is another level to this tower thing. Oh, yeah! Oh, this is where the memory was. Right here is literally where I found the memory over here. And there's another... Yeah, there's one silent princess in here. That's so symbolic AF. Like, uh, read Zelda's research journal. Okay. Today I met with Impa of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Robbie, other respected members of her tribe. Tomorrow I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech um, with which to operate the Guidance Stones. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the Guidance Stone. It is a rectangular object, small enough to be held with my two hands. Is it a Sheikah Slate? Sheikah text is featured prominently on it. It is made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrine scattered across each region. It's totally the Sheikah Slate. Imper proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Sheikah Slate. <laughs> we have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Sheikah tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight I thought I could win. We did it. We finally... We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that this stone state is capable... Stone Slate is capable of producing images, perfect like, likely likenesses of the things that you pointed at. So it's a camera. L unlike normal uh, pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of the Sheikah technology. Still, I know there is much more to learn. There must be. 
We believe the Sheikah Slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone and continue our res we must continue our research and quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mipha mastered the controls with surprising ease. Oh, she's jealous of Mipha because she likes- I think she likes Link. Well, obviously she likes Link, duh. Uh, but you know what I mean. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually he got the hang of it. Urbosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the rising calamity. Robbie has restored mobility to many of the guardians we've excavated, but we still have yet to find all of the guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. That's where they're stored? Oh my god, is there like a dungeon underneath here? The thing is, no matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. Oh my god, there's an underground. I bet you there is. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and only to activate upon his return? Oh, maybe that's all of them around the world. Maybe that's where they came from. Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? That is Pura's theory, and I concur, and yet my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the Calamity. We must not give up no matter what. I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until until healing is comp complete. So they use the they basically use the stasis rune to keep Link in stasis for a hundred years while he healed. Wow! In the war against the calamity ten thousand years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. Well, it did. And that's it. That's the last page of the diary. What is this? Is this bombable? I kind of don't want to bomb anything in here, but... No. Interesting. What is that? That's weird. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, that one just saw me, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what? Where do I go from here? Oh, is that, is that why I have to go down? Or can I get up from here? Oh, there's no way. Yeah, I have to go, I have to go back down, I think, in here. And then go through? Yeah, this is Princess Zelda's room. This was where she, like, slept, and... Yeah. It's not so great looking now, is it? Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, this is a dead end. This is totally a dead end. I can't go any further. Oh, man. So what on the map... Where are we exactly? We're, like, here. Ah, I see. And that's the re... Okay, I understand. So essentially, I want to go to the right side, right? Or maybe not. Maybe there's, like, a hidden passageway somewhere. Okay, let's just keep going, keep exploring. I love that you can hear the main Zelda theme in this, occasionally. Oh, what is targeting me? Oh, the flying guardian. Oh, no! Oh, no, I'm in the goop, too! Oh, that was really bad. Oh, turn around, Link. Jeez. Um, that's the main room, room where we fought the Lionel, right? So, what I can- you know what I can do? I mean, obviously they give me these abilities for a reason, so let's use them. Take care of that- wait, what? That didn't kill you? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? What a waste of an arrow. What an absolute waste. Alright, did you drop a- Man, I just want that stuff. I don't care if I take damage. I have plenty of food on me. Um, okay, we gotta climb here. 
Up we go, Link. Is it just through the door? How crazy would that be? Oh man, I've been seen. I've been spotted. I've been spotted, I've been spotted. Come on, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Woo! Okay, we're fine. We're in now. What is this gonna be? Oh my gosh. Is this already, like, is this all there is to it? Please tell me this is not it. It's really that easy just to get up here? There's probably more we can, like, oh my god. What is that? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Oh, I have no more no more Dr. Pepper left. Crap. Okay, what is happening? What is that? What is that? Is that where- is she in there? Oh my, what is happening? <gasps> oh my god, we're falling into the- we're literally falling into hell right- oh my god. God, he's like a spider. What the hell is that? Oh my god, that is terrifying! Scourge of Hyrule Castle Calamity Ganon. Holy shit. Oh my- Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Stuff is happening. This will be our final opportunity. We will not fail. Let's go, little guy. Now, open up wide, get it! A hundred years in the making. Hold on, Princess. Our moment has arrived. What is this gonna do to him, I wonder? It took half of his health away? Are you kidding me? Well, that makes things a little bit easier. About half easier. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen though? This... Oh my god! Oh, it's happening! Oh, shit! Okay, 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 okay. First thing I want to do... Let's get a high-level defense boost. We'll cover some... Ooh, oh, I see. I understand. Ah, 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 ah. Not so fast, Ganon. Wait, that didn't do anything. Where's his head? There we go. I got his head. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Daruk's protection! Yes! Eat shit, Ganon. Oh my gosh, get wrecked, dude. Come on. Can I stasis him, I wonder? Oh no, you're not stasis. I can. Really? Oh, Link, no! Shoot. Okay, I, I need to wait for another one of his lasers. Oh, oh, here. This is perfect. Oh, where is he going? Nice. 
Is that- is he gonna fall? Oh my god. Ow! That hurt me, though. Are you kidding me? Hey, you. Jerk. Jerk face. Oh, come on, no, Link. Link, Link, Link. What is he doing? What's hap- oh. I see. I understand. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't use- okay, right, 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 right. Um, you know what? <laughs> see you later! Woohoo! Oh no, I don't want to leave, though. Like, uh, where are you? Come on, let me- let, can I see your head? Oh, you're kind of blocking it a little bit. Did that work? That actually sort of worked. Here we go, Daruk's protection! <gasps> One more arrow, and then I'll go s uh, I wanna- wait, I wanna stasis him. Come on, Link. Yes! Alright. Ooh, what is happening? Okay. Oh, is it about to get hot in here? Oh, are you kidding me? The temp- Wait, is the temperature going up? What is happening? <gasps> Ooh! Oh, it's a little- it's a little warm. Um, okay. Sure. Where are you going? Come back here, coward. Oh, yeah? Two can play at that game. Oh, wait, is he invincible? What? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait! I have an idea. No, that didn't work! Why didn't that work? Is he fire? I don't understand. I don't- I don't understand. I don't understand. Do I have to get, like, a perp- I think I have to get a- oh! Oh, shoot, Link. Do you- do you not have a shield? Do I not have a shield equipped? Oh, I do. Okay. Okay. Come on, use your laser. Use your laser. This is it. What is- just what is this? Um... What are you doing? Oh, okay, here we go. I need a perfect one. Ready? No! How did I miss that? Oh, shoot. Alright, we've now entered the difficult part of the fight. Oh, man. Luckily, I have enough food, though. Oh, no! Link! Link, I, I need you to block. Why isn't it- Why is that not deflecting properly? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. Can I just- Yeah, that doesn't do anything! Why doesn't that do anything? Yeah, he- he completely is invulnerable right now. Like, I literally can't do anything to him at the moment. I- I think I have to reflect his own shots. YES! Eat shit, Ganon! Alright, stasis. Oh man, come on, yes! Okay, he's invincible again. Wait a minute. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I. S oh. Oh, how did I miss that? Um. Sure. Oh no, he's doing it again, Link. Yes. Where are you? Where's your head? There we go. Stasis. Okay. Oh, just a couple more. Oh, nice. Ooh! Okay. Come on, Link. Oh, no. No, I, I didn't. I, I, I regret everything. I regret everything. I regret everything. Okay. This is what I want. Yes! Oh, I'm getting so much better at that. Oh, my bow's, my bow's damaged. Uh... Sure. Is this gonna be it? Oh. Almost. Well, okay, one more cycle, probably. Ooh, nope! Not so fast. Come on, shoot your laser. Oh no, he's going up there again. Hey, come on, shoot your laser! Come on, Ganon, what are you, afraid of me? Are you afraid? Oh! Oh, oh, that's cheating! Oh, that is cheating! Stop it! Stop it! Leave me alone! Come on. Come on, you big ugly spider. Are you- you're not- surely this can't be the- like, it, right? Oh, what is he doing? What is happening? Oh, I don't- I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. I- it, Ow. What? That was cheap. Oh my god, he threw a spear at me. Oh, what is- what is happening? Oh, here we go. 
Oh, I missed it. Urgh. Okay, come on, Link. We have one more chance. Yes! Where are you? Oh, this is totally it. Come on. Yes! Is that it? That can't be it, right? There's got to be, like, another phase. No? Oh, this cannot be it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No way. Oh. Really? Oh, no. Oh, this is not it. It is not over. He's turning into, to like... The proper beast Ganon now, isn't he? Oh, this thing is terrifying. Wait, what? Oh no. Is this gonna be. Uh uh. It's not over. Not over. There's no way. That can't be it. Oh no. Yeah, I knew it. Is this the thing that I saw in like the trailers and stuff? Dark Beast Ganon, Hatred and Malice Incarnate. I entrust you with the Bow of Light, a powerful weapon in the face of evil. Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power, or all of your memories. But courage need not be removed. For it is never forgotten. Oh my gosh. No, not horseback combat, guys. Guys. No, not horseback. Oh my god, a hundred damage bow. Princess Zelda gave you this bow, an arrow. It comes with unlimited arrows for battle with Dark Beast Ganon. When wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure light, strong enough to oppose the calamity. Wow, yeah, we just, it, we get light arrows now. What is, oh, what is even happening though? Like, ooh. oh, listen to this music. I'm... So what do I do then? Attack any glowing points that you see. Oh, any glowing points. Okay. So, like, back here, then? Wait, is that... Is that not working? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm scared! Oh, no, Epona, stop it. Epona. Well, you're not really Epona, are you? Oh my gosh, my horse! Come on! Oh, this is my horse! Oh! Oh, I understand! Got it. Come on. Got it. Okay. Are there more on the other side then? Oh, I see. He's taking damage now. That's good. Wow. This is, uh... This is exciting. Well, I mean, honestly, the other, the other portion of this fight was a little more exciting than this, and I hate horseback combat, so... Oh no, come on, Lepona. That is what I named my horse, by the way. That is... Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Please. He's firing lasers at everything. Oh, there we go. 
Oh shoot, I just, oh, oh man, I can't see anything. I'm inside it? Where's the horse? Where's my horse? Did my horse just, oh, horsey, 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 please? Come on. We have a job to do, Lepona. Let's turn around. Can I aim from here? Yes, I can. Okay, Zelda, I, I, I hit the, those other points. Yeah, I know. So where where's the rest? How do I how do I deal the rest of the damage to him? Oh my gosh, look at this thing. And this music is beautiful. Oh my god. Come on, where are your points at? Where are your weak points? Oh my god, what is he doing? Yeah, those don't work as is. Hurry what? Where where has we Oh, underneath? Oh, that worked! What is happening? Oh, it's gonna be his head now, isn't it? Oh shoot. Oh, where did my horse run off to? I'm trying, Zelda. I'm trying. Look up there. Look up where? What am I looking at, Zelda? Oh, oh I see. Oh, turn around horse. That's not... Do I need to, like, hop off or something? Hold on, I have an idea. This might sound crazy, but... Oh! Did that hit him? Oh, I'm I'm totally dead. I'm gonna die from this. I'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna I'm gonna die from the fall damage. Oh no 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 no! Please don't die now, Link. Like after all this, do not die. Oh my God, that would have killed me. That would have killed me. Where's my? All right. I think I can do this again. I just. Is there another way I'm intended to do this? Come on, open your stupid eye, Ganon. Open your eye. Open your eyes, Link. Is that actually hi hitting him at all? Oh my god. I need- I need to get down. I need- Oh, I, I understand though, there's wind here. That's like, that's why I'm able to get up. I don't even need- I can't seem to get a good view on the eyeball, though. I, I need to get down again and get my- actually, what am I doing? Oh, wait. I, I know, I understand Zelda, I do get it. I do understand it, I'm just, uh, having issues. Why- why can I- can I not get closer than that? Oh, there it is! There we go. Jeez. I couldn't, like, get it and I couldn't get a good angle on it. Now, is this gonna be it or is there gonna be one more thing? That's what I wonder.
the music's getting scary. What's happening? What is going on, Zelda? That might be it. I've been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask, do you really remember me? Wow. Okay. This is going to be the credits. Before we start talking, I'm just going to let let this do its thing so we can see if it's the credits or not. If it's the credits, we know we've done it, for real. There it is! Okay, wow. Alright, so I'm just, I'm like trying to process what just happened, obviously. Um, I imagine that the Divine Beasts, in addition to just having their abilities in that Ganon fight, um, which makes it a lot easier, obviously, uh, they take away half its health, so maybe each one takes away like, I don't know, 12.5% of its health. I, I would imagine that's, that's how that works. Um, and I had more than enough hearts. I still almost died there at the end from fall damage of that in the last Ganon fight. I... I think the Calamity Ganon portion of that fight, mechanically and visually and everything else, was fucking phenomenal. It was great. It used a lot of, um... You know, a lot of things that you had seen previously in the game, you had to do the deflects, just like, you know, with the other Guardians and everything, and you could, you could probably fight him a multitude of ways, I'd imagine. Um... The Dark Beast Scanned portion, visually, very impressive, obviously. Mechanically, I never like horseback combat in games, especially not in Zelda games. I didn't like Twilight Princess's combat, horseback combat section, and I did not like this one's either. Um, it's just kind of really hard to maneuver your horse while also trying to shoot at those points, and um, yeah, I don't know, like, I I'm not gonna complain about it though. It was, it was still really great. I feel like that fight could have used, like, one more phase, maybe. Um, you know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe he could have had, like, a humanoid form, like, something akin to Ganondorf, but maybe not really. I don't know. Uh, either way, though, that was very, very good. I wish that the Hyrule Castle portion, and I know that there was more to explore, and there's probably more that I missed, um, that I definitely am gonna go back and explore some more. Um, but I wish that the, the actual castle itself was more of a dungeon. Um, in the sense of, like, I just wish it was more akin to the, uh, Divine Beasts, you know, where you had to, to solve puzzles and do things in a certain order and use your runes and everything. Um, that's just my opinion, though. Let me know what you guys thought about that. That was, I'm still, like, I, like I said, I'm processing it. Um, 
It's hard for me to make a decision on whether something was amazing or not until I'd had a moment to step away from it and then look back on it, or even play it over again, like once I played the fight over again. Um, the end cutscene kind of left it off a little bit. Uh, it can go anywhere, like who knows Who knows what happens from there. Um, she mentioned something about, do you really remember me? And I found all the memories in the game, so I don't... <laughs> I don't know if there was like an alternate ending there that I maybe missed or not. I don't think there was. I, I had completed every main story quest. I wonder if maybe completing all the shrines and then beating Ganon triggers something else there. I don't know. Uh, that can be something that I look into. I am definitely going to continue um, the game and I'm going to do the rest of the shrines, all 120 of them, and in my own time, I'm going to do all 900 Korok seeds. That's going to be, like, a long-term goal, because it has taken me about a week and a half to two weeks just to find, like, 110 of them, and there's 900. So, but that's going to be my own time. I'm not going to stream all that. I think I will stream... I will continue streaming this game. I'm going to stream as many of the shrines as I can, but I am not going to hesitate to do stuff off stream like you know after i'm done streaming or maybe in the morning when i wake up or whenever i'll i'll be playing a little bit on my own because like i said it's it's still a new game to me and sometimes i do just want to sit there like without having to commentate on everything and and play it not to say that i don't enjoy commentating i actually like i said i've said this before and it's true i enjoy um the game more when i'm streaming it because i i tend to pay attention more to the characters what they're saying their dialogue everything just comes more to life and it's just more much more fun but it's also very tiring to do this for eight hours a day and since i want to keep playing the game um more than that i know that that sounds a little no lifey but um this is my job like this is what i do as my job and so um you know, the eight hours is there, and then if I want to do anything else past those eight hours, which I can before or after, in between, or whatever, however I want to do it, then I can do it. And playing this game is one of those things that I want to do right now. So, um, I always tell you what I do, though. Like, if I do something off camera, I always let you guys know what it is. Um, and if it's super important or story-driven, I tend to leave it alone. We've obviously gotten to the point now where, like, the story's done. We've seen all of it. For the most part i'm sure there's some side quests that have some more story backstory to them and if i come across anything like that then excuse me in the future on the stream i will go back and i will show it i promise um because i don't know if i plan to let's play this game this game is one of those games where i really feel like it works better as a stream because it's so open-ended and so wildly, like, you can do it in any order, however you want. Like, I imagine, I already know for a fact, I haven't watched it because I didn't want to spoil the end fight, but I know someone has beat this game in 58 minutes from start to finish. Apparently it's possible. I don't know how. I don't know what is required. I don't know how many hearts they had. I don't know how many runes they had. I don't know anything. All I know is that it took them 58 minutes from start to, to killing Ganon, to killing Dark Beast Ganon. Um, so it's definitely possible. There's, there's so many ways you can play this game, but that's the beauty of it. It's... I cannot say enough about it. It's... I, I praise this game with just every ounce of my being. I really do. Um, I have played- I'm 27 years old, I'm turning 28 this year, and I started playing video games when I was 5. Wrap your brain around that, and then think about the words that I'm about to say. This game is, without a doubt in my mind, the best video game I have ever played in my entire life. And I know that I'm a little biased, because obviously it's Zelda. But it, it combines... The game that I've played the most in my life is World of Warcraft. I spent seven years playing World of Warcraft. I spent three of those years playing World of Warcraft on a hardcore, high up, like, top ten ranking level. Um, and then I quit because it was so time consuming, but... Uh, I loved that game. Like, World of Warcraft, the story, everything involved with it. It's, it's something that I love, but it's got... It's not without its problems. In my opinion... Breath of the Wild takes everything good that I love about MMOs and improves them or and, and then gets rid of all the bad stuff and then mixes it in with Zelda and makes it a solo player experience. It's a combination that to me is just a winning recipe. This game scored number two on Metacritic only underneath Ocarina of Time for a reason. And the only reason, in my opinion, that Ocarina of Time beats it still is because of nostalgia. 
Ocarina of Time just, it, it sealed that spot away for seemingly ever. It's, it's one of those games that changed the genre of video, it changed the, the face of video gaming. Video games after Ocarina of Time aspired to be Ocarina of Time. But I can tell you, without a doubt in my mind, you're going to be seeing in the next couple of years, many more video games trying to emulate this kind of open world experience with Zelda. I guarantee you, this Zelda game is going to is going to pave the way for video games for years to come. I guarantee it. It is that good. Um, if you don't own this game, I, I recommend going out and buying it. I recommend going out... Ooh, what's happening? <gasps> More cutscene. Yes, please. Oh, her father. Oh, man. Oh, all the champions are there, too. Oh, no, she didn't see him. That's the end. <laughs> or is it the end? What is this? We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta looks like it stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. <laughs> I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. Check it, no more cutscenes? I mean, I love them, keep them coming, but you've like psyched me out like five times now. Oh man. There we go. Okay, we're back. We're back to the, uh, we're back to the starting screen. So if I continue from here, yep, it puts me right there before Ganon. So, and it has a star, which I guess means that I've beaten it. So it, it like shows that I have a star there, but but I can continue to beat Ganon over and over and over again. I guess that's what that means. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. I don't want to touch it yet. Um, but yeah, just continuing on from what I was saying, amazing Zelda game. If, if you have the opportunity to buy it, even if you can't get it for the Switch, I would recommend it for the Switch because honestly, um, the Switch, other than the problem that I had with my docking station, which got fixed in two days, and Nintendo was great about it. They, they sent me replacements. We got it fixed really quickly. Um... 
But other than that problem that I had, the Switch as a system is wonderful. It works wonderfully. It feels wonderful to play on. You have many different options. You can play with the Joy-Cons in each hand. You can play with what I play with, which is the uh, Joy-Con uh, like charging controller. Um, you can play on the gamepad. The gamepad screen is really nice. Uh, it's a little small. It's bigger than a DS, like bigger than a, a DS XL screen for sure, but still a little too tiny for my taste. But the, the beautiful thing about it is that it's the, it is the system. So if you want to take it a hundred miles away from your docking station, you can keep playing Zelda for as long as your battery will last. And there are things that you can purchase to char, like you, you can plug the, um, switch into there's a charger, there's an adapter, so you can take the adapter with you, you can play wherever you want. It's, you're not, you're not held down to having your console system at home all, at all times. So, I, I mean, you can bet I will be traveling with this thing when I go places. It will, it will almost replace my Nintendo DS for, for my traveling companion as far as, like, handheld gaming goes. It's, it's a brilliant system. So if you can get the system, get the system, and get the Zelda game. If you can't afford the system, but you have a Wii U already, get the Zelda game anyway, because, um, it's, it's an experience. Like, I, again, 27 years old, at least 21, 22 years of video gaming experience in my life, and I've never played a game more phenomenal than this one. With, with, just hands down, without a, a shadow of a doubt, it is the best game I've ever played. It's not without its faults, and I did talk about those throughout the stream, so you guys already know about, about all that, you know, um, but, in the end, it, it doesn't matter because 9 out of 10 of the, the checkpoints that this game needs to hit, it hits. And the, the one checkpoint that it doesn't is so insignificant, in, in my honest opinion, that it, it makes the rest... Like, it's just it's great. I could sit here and praise it for hours and hours, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to so probably, you know, try to close it out here. I want to say thank you to everybody who watched the stream. The stream is not over, mind you. I'm not ending the stream forever. I will continue tomorrow. I may not be streaming eight hours a day anymore. I want to kind of like lower it down a little bit because um, I'm going to be playing in my own time. But also, um, I don't think eight hours a day of side questy shrine searching is going to be um, the most exciting thing to watch. But I'll do about four hours, four or five hours of streaming still, which is still a pretty long time to be streaming each and every day. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'll be doing the rest of the shrines. There's there's like 48, 47 more shrines that we haven't completed, so we're going to be completing those. I'm going to be upgrading every single piece of gear in the entire game to rank 4. That is one thing that I want to do. Um, in my own time, I'll be finding all 900 Korok seeds, but I won't be doing all 900 on the stream, of course. Uh, that, that, that will probably take me months to complete that goal. But at least for the next couple weeks, I'll still stream. I'll make sure that I stream up until I'm done with all 120 shrines. You guys will be there to see at least the last one for sure. Um, so come back, keep watching, and, and I want you guys to know from the bottom of my heart, really, I am so happy that you know, especially the people that come and watch every single day. Like, you guys have been keeping me going. Uh, you're what's been making this pleasurable for me. Um, being able to talk with you guys, to be able to share the experience, and, and to be able to hear also, like, because some of you are my friends in real life, and I get to hear off in my, you know, like, own personal time um, what you guys think of my streams and just what you think of the game in general. And it's just really exciting. Like, I think that right now it is one of the best times to be alive in video gaming. Like, this game, this game isn't just a game. It's an experience, and I'm glad that I got to experience it. So thanks again to everybody. Um, I'm really passionate about this channel. If you guys haven't already seen it, go off to my YouTube channel. Um, there is a link down below my stream. It should be off like to the bottom left-hand corner that says other social medias. I have a Twitter and I have a Facebook. You can follow me and like those. Um, I always update whether I'm going to be doing streams or if I've posted a video on my YouTube series to my Facebook and my Twitter. Make sure you follow those, like those, um, to stay updated. And then go to my YouTube um, channel and subscribe because every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I post episodes of whatever YouTube series I'm working on at the time, which right now that happens to be Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So if you like Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and you liked my stream, you'll like 
my, hopefully you'll like my um, Twilight Princess series. So go over there. There's about 12 or 13 episodes that are up so far, um, which is a decent amount. Each video is about 30 to 40 minutes long. So you'll have enough to watch there to tide you over until my next stream or whatever in between. Um, but yeah, just thank thank you everybody from the bottom of my heart for, for your support. My channel has been up about three weeks and already I have so much growth and it's really exciting to see and I'm really passionate about it so I, I just can't say much more like I, I I just really enjoy this experience so I will see you guys tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna end it off there um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this this was quite a ride um, so I will see you guys all tomorrow see you later <laughs>